Boom. All right. Okay, time to go live. And three, two, one, and boom. We're live. How are we all doing? Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope everybody is doing good. We are live. Thank you. That Meister guy, how are we doing? Welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing? Doing happy Saturday. As usual, happy Saturn, Sega Saturn Day. You're live? What happened? Why wouldn't you be alive? What'd you do today? <laughs> you must have did something. You're alive? Or you must have, you must have fell asleep. You must have slept the entire day, and you probably just got up right now, right? And that's why you're alive. Is that, is that what it is? Is that what it is? Probably what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, been clearing up and cleaning out my uh, cleaning up and clearing I say clearing up and cleaning out your text says cleaning up and clearing out been clearing cleaning up and clearing out my room the whole day oh nice okay awesome man yeah uh my room I've been I sort of did this no not really <laughs> I still gotta clean my room um so yeah today uh for today's Sega Saturn Day theme I have thought you know, I did the vertical shmup night a about a month ago, I want to say. I figured now I'd do the horizontal shmup night. Uh, we have a bunch of shmups to play, shoot 'em ups whatever you like to call it. Uh, got the Thunder Force series, uh, Gold Packs 1 and 2, which includes Thunder Force 2, 3, 3 Arcade Edition, 4. Um, I have Thunder Force 5, but I'm not going to play that tonight. I'm going to say that for another night. Uh, I have Cotton 2. I have Cotton Boomerang. I do have Cotton Boomerang. I have played Cotton Boomerang on the show before. That's why I'm going to leave it out. I'll, I'll save that for another, another time. So Cotton 2, I like slightly better. So I also got Arcade Gears, Image Fight, X, and X Multiply. We did Image Fight as a part of the Vertical Shmup Night. We will play X Multiply because that's a horizontal shmup. We also have Darius 2, which uh, if you're familiar with the arcade version... Uh, was on three screens. Somehow they managed to pour it over to Saturn, so we'll, we could check it out. We have the Gradius Deluxe Pack, which includes Gradius 1 and 2. We got Metal Black. I've played Metal Black before. Back when I streamed in 2016, I did a I did a Sega Saturn variety stream. Um, if you check out, take a look at my YouTube page, I actually play this, but uh, now we could play it in better quality and with a better webcam. So, and then we also have Sengoku Blade. This, this game is famous for the girl with the big bazongas in the front. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's Sengoku Blade. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, you know, if we have more time, I have a couple other horizontal shmups we could pop in as well. Uh, so, we'll see when that how that uh, goes. But we will start off with Thunder Force Gold Pack Volume 1. But uh, before we start, before we begin, I thought I thought I would share something with you guys. I actually made a trip to my uh, local video game store and I got some pickups that I would like to share with you guys. I figure, why not? Uh, so so I went to my 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 local game store. Uh, there's two local game stores near me. Um, they're called Digital Press Video Games. They're they're it's a big. I would say it's a it's a small store, but like it's big. They're, they're a big name, you know. They they've been around since like they, they had a they had like a magazine, like a fanzine service since the early '90s. And around 2005, Joe Santulli, the fan, the co-founder of Digital Press, opened up his own store in Clifton in 2005. Um, and then um, it got popular as as the years went on. Uh, the AVG and uh, Angry Video Game Nerd took a couple visits there. Uh, the nostalgia, cr the famous nostalgia critic versus the AVG fight took care took place in that store, and it, it gained a lot of popularity. Uh, they they filmed the Capital One uh, No Hassle card commercial there, um, so it, it, there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on there. So um, I I know I'm a frequent visitor because I'm I am into retro games. So, um, but in 2018, summer of 18, uh, they branched off and opened up another store in Springfield, uh, which is ran by, um, Leo. He was an employee, he's, he isn't, he was an employee at the Clifton store. Now he branched off and started his own store, but used the digital press name and Joe allowed it. 
So is the di there's two digital press stores, one in Clifton and one in Springfield. So yesterday I went to both stores in one go, and I just I just went on a nice game hunt. So uh, I'll figure I'll show off what I got. So um, actually, this is where. The Hold on. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. No, we're good. We're we're absolutely good. We're good. Okay, so the first actually, hang on. One second. One second, one second, one second. I move some of this over here. Yeah, actually not a, not a problem. Okay, cool, not a problem. So I thought I had all the pickups here, but I didn't. I had to head them over there. Not a not a biggie. Whoopsie. Okay, so anyway, uh, I picked up some PlayStation 1 games. I picked up this game called Extreme Pinball, uh, which is a pinball game for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I've been, it's, I've, I've seen this many times when I, uh, I pass by both stores. Uh, and this was at a good price. It was like $6.99. Usually I see it go for like $10. Bucks, so I was like, hey, why not? I'll pick it up. Um, I took a visit over to the bargain bin section. They had some PlayStation demo discs. One of them is the CD Interactive uh, Volume 9. Uh, I took a look on the desk. It has uh, has a lot of demos on it. It has Spyro. It has Medieval One. Uh, has Metal. Has the version of Metal Gear Solid. The demo that's in English uh, has English voices, and uh, it goes up to the DARPA chief. So it's like the the last demo before the final version came out. And also there is the Namco Cool Games Free Stuff demo disc. Um, <laughs> oh, you have that disc too. Nice. Uh, which has uh, Ace Combat 2, um, Time Crisis, that's the gun shoot, I, I had a brain fart there just now, Time Crisis 1, and uh, Treasures of the Deep has those three playable demos on it, so it's nice, nice neat li little uh, playable demos you get off there, so I got those three, um, so I've also picked up some PlayStation 2 games, uh, Got Echo the Dolphin, uh, Defender of the Future for PS2. Uh, I know this game came out on Dreamcast, and I, I saw it on the, the shelf for PS2 games. I figure, all right, why not? Why not? You know, it was cheap, $7.99. Why not? One right for it. Um, and I saw Speed Racer, the video game for PlayStation 2. I'm actually going to turn off my monitor because I see a glare, so that's fine. Speed Racer 2, the... Not Speed Racer 2. Speed Racer, the video game <laughs> for PlayStation 2. Uh, the anime... <laughs> the game um i also behind the display case they had uh the sequel to galarian's called galarian's ash uh i have galarian's one i picked it up last year from the clifton store for like 20 bucks it's shot up since then it's like almost 80 bucks the original game um but they had galarian's ash i, I guess this is the sequel for ps2 it looks pretty cool so i picked it up uh, it was only like 20 dollars so why not uh, and finally, from the Springfield store, I saw they had some strategy guides. I saw Maximo, and I, that stood out because I recently picked up Maximo for PlayStation uh, 2 from their store, and I was like, ooh, might as well get the guide. And said there was a giant poster inside, but sadly, I was looking <laughs> looking through it. It's been cut out, so no no poster, sadly. So that's all I got from the, sh the Springfield store. Then I went over to the Clifton store. And I got some more stuff. So, first things first, I went over to the, uh, the, I noticed they had some Super Famicom games. So I picked up three of them. They, they all seem to be, uh, racing games. Uh, got one by Namcot. I don't know what this one's called, but I know it's a racing game. Because <laughs> it, it's a guy in a car, or a Formula One car. And then, there's another game that's like, uh, another racing game. And I, I, I forgot what it's called. But this one here, I looked it up. This is Drift King, so I picked it up. So, yeah, we got some racers, some Japanese import uh, Super Famicom stuff, some good stuff right there. Uh, then I uh, went over to the PlayStation 2 section. I noticed they had some more imports. Actually, they had these for a while. I figure I picked them up. Uh, the, it is uh, Armored Core 2 and Armored Core 3 for the PlayStation 2. Um... I picked up Armor Core 1 for the PlayStation, and I thought it was pretty good. So I was like, right, I might as well check out the, the, the sequels for the PlayStation 2. They were, they were cheap enough. So I picked them up because uh, Japanese imports. Hey, Kyo Suki, 1970. Kyo, I haven't. Hey, man. I haven't seen you so long. How have you been? You're, you're my stream. How you been? I'm so glad you're here. 
Ah, uh, how you doing? It's been a while. Ah, uh, Drift King is kind of fun. So happy you're here, man. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, so I got armor. I've got bold armor, armored core games. Hey, bud. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. Welcome to my stream. Appreciate it. You're living. Yep. Yeah, I'm living too. We're all living. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing uh we're doing a Sega Sat. I, I I do these weekly. Uh, actually, I stream like four days a week. Um, every week, every Saturday, I do uh, cause you know I'm big on the Saturn. <laughs> I've been playing. I I've been doing uh, I do these uh, every Saturday called Sega Saturn Day streams where I play a bunch of like imports for the Saturn and sort of like a variety stream format where, where I play like you know 20 minutes here 20 minutes there or do like full runs uh but tonight's theme is the horizontal shmup night no cons to catch up on hopefully Magvis will be back yeah I saw that they did an announcement um last week I read it up they they, they sent out like a schedule like um if they were to, to do it or not uh, depending on the situation, I guess we'll see how things go. Hopefully, I hope it, I hope that they have it back. You know, I'd love to see everybody again. That's one of my favorite conventions to go to. Uh, not so much just because it's a convention in general. I just I just like the gathering. How everybody, we all gather and we 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 hang out. We talk about the same things we love, which is like retro games and, and music and pop culture, fun stuff. You know, the things you know that that friendship is all about. Um, I actually, yeah, I, I, I hope Magfest continues 2021. I'm, def I'm definitely looking for it. Would, would go back for sure. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, man. Finally, the last pickup. I War for the Tari Jaguar. <laughs> Starting up a mini Tari Jaguar collection. I saw they had this complete in box. I picked it up. So yeah, that's all the games I picked up at both digital press stores. I thought I'd share with you guys. Our quarterly catch-up, lol. Yeah, well, too many games didn't happen this year, unfortunately. That's another one of my favorite conventions, and then AVGC didn't happen either. Nah. Oh, well. Well, hopefully hopefully they'll start up again soon. We'll see everybody. I think it'll be cool. So, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, welcome to my stream. Um, welcome to my stream. Today we'll be playing lots and lots of uh, Saturn shmups. Uh, feel free, I'll, uh, show off the lineup once again, so we'll be playing, we're gonna start off with the, uh, Thunder Force Gold Pack Volume 1, which comes with Thunder Force 2 and 3, Gold Pack Volume 2, comes with the arcade version of 3 and 4, 4 is great for the Genesis, these are all, like, Genesis Mega Drive ports to disc, which is good stuff, uh, got Gradius Deluxe Pack, we got Darius 2, we got the Image Fight X Multiply bundle, but we're going to play X mul Multiply because that's a horizontal shmup. We got Cotton 2, Metal Black, and Sengoku Blade. And I have a couple others on my shelf. My shelf, you can't see it. That's my shelf. That shelf full of uh, Saturn games. Uh, if you have time later on, I'll probably pull another game off the shelf. And I say, without further ado, why don't we start off with a little Thunder Force Gold Pack Volume 1. There it is. There's my Saturn HUD. We'll start it up, and we'll go. We'll uh, get ready to go. Put this to the side here. Technosoft presents. Get a little nice CG intro here. 7790. I guess that's like a year or something. <laughs> the Orny. The Orn system. Planet number one Hydra. <laughs> Hey, Rockman, JJ, J. Greetings, King of Apoc. Hey, Rockman, JJ, J. How you doing? I'm wearing your shirt today. 
purple Sega Saturn shirt. Custom made. This guy put out uh, some cut. He does custom shirts. He has a he has like a was it Red Bubble or uh, I forgot what Teespring. He does he has like a Teespring shirt where he uh, has some custom art. You should go check him out. You could uh, feel free to plug your your link, Rockman Jay. You can put it in the chat. That's fine. I'm all good. All for it. Yep, sure looks great, man. Get a little, little uh, cheap C. Yeah, not cheap. It was pretty good CG intro. Just a little over the top for our two Mega Drive ports that are on this disc. But here we go. We'll start off with the Thunder Force Two Mega Drive edition. And uh, great way to start off this. Uh, pack here. Sega. So if old A and C, we go over to the uh, configuration mode. Let's leave the kids mode off. Uh, rapid fire. Let's increase our ship stack rank. We'll do normal. Kids. No kid mode. Alright, we'll start it up. Alright, so here we go. Now, now you're probably going to wonder... Gee, this is the horizontal shmup. Why is it a top-down shooter? Just the first level, uh, these I call them intro stages, um, are top-down, and it becomes a horizontal shmup. Wow, just, yeah, I will you? Okay, here we go. Uh, it's been a while since I played this, though, so like, bear with me. We'll find it. There you go. Shoot this gate down. Actually, I think I have to take care of something in here for. Yeah, I gotta blow this thing up first. Oh, oh. These guys are just coming at me. Blow that up. Blow that up. Nice. Thanks so much. I'm on Redbubble now. We'll post the link next time. In bed watching. Oh, you're on the phone. Ah, okay, no, no problem, man. Yeah. All right, let's blow this thing up. All right, we'll go into this next room. We gotta find another one of those. Uh, th yeah, right here. I gotta blow this up. Yeah, come up here. Up, oh. <sighs> blown up. Let's, let's go. There we go. Nice. All right, then we'll switch back. We'll come back down here. I think there is another gate. I have to go through. Oh crap. Nope. It's somewhere over here. Come up here. It's somewhere. We'll find it. Ah, two hit. Nope. We'll find it. We'll find it. I think we gotta go back outside the gate that we came in. And just go down. Yep. Nice. Okay, now we go down here. Uh, okay. Did we go this way. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a maze we're in now. I think we'll figure it out, though. Okay. I think if I go down, I think there's another one. There's another one, I think. Yep, there is. Blow that up. Then we go in here. Clash. What's the clash do? Nice, blow that up. I think we go a little bit further here. Yep, we do, right here. It comes up here. Hunt, yeah, use the hunt. And I think there was one more. We gotta blow up, it's around here somewhere. Yep, it's right here. All right, well, can't get shot out, these guys. Nice, blew it up. 
Uh, pity Capcom never ported Carrier Air Wing to the Saturn with the best horizontal shooters. Funny, I was playing the Mega Drive version of Thunder Force a few days ago. Had no idea what I was doing in the top down stage. <laughs> yep, exactly. Same deal. And now we kick to the horizontal modes. Now, I just remember what kid mode does. Um, whenever you get killed in this game, you lose all of your power ups. With kid mode turned on, you keep them. I probably should have kept that turned on. Because I'm not that good at this game. I like I like shoot 'em ups, but that doesn't mean I'm good. <laughs> this is uh this is a good track. Um in this game. They called uh I think it's called Ray of Hope. It's a good uh good soundtrack. Blow that up. Nice. Cool. Go right through here, get the S. The side. Okay, side's good, because it takes these guys down. Nice. Go back for... Oh, that's a one-up. We got a one-up. Nice. Cool. Shoot this guy down a little bit. Oh. <sighs> Craw. I screwed up. Blow this guy up. Blow him up. Yeah, probably should turn kid mode on. Probably gonna get game over in a little bit anyway. Okay, so this is our shield. Nice. Cool. Nice. Ah, oh, I died. You know what? Screw it. ABC start. Let's go back to the. Uh Main menu, we'll turn that kid mode on, because I'm going to need it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need kid mode on in this uh, Thunder Force games. Music is great in the Mega Drive version 2. Carry Air Wings music is just amazing. Try I must try. Okay. I'll definitely give it a look. I'll definitely check, I'll definitely check it out. For sure. Kid mode on. Let's, turn Let's increase our stock to 5. Yeah, rapid fire. Yeah, rapid fire. We'll keep that on. Exit. Stir it up. Good luck. Alright, at least I know where all those uh, those bases are on the top-down area to destroy. There's one up here? Yeah, right here. Blow that up. Nice. Okay, now I gotta go collect these items. Do you use meme for your arcade fix? Yes, I do. Um... I don't really play it as much, but yes, I, I do use MAME a lot. Um, for C... I, I think there's another emulator for, like, CPS. Uh, I think it's called Project Nebula. That's pretty good for, like, the C, like the Capcom games. Um, but MAME is usually good enough. Hmm... Blow that up. Nice. Yep, FBA is also great. Yep. Cool. Damn, come that way. Yeah, so now, because I died, I didn't lose all my weapons. That's good. Final burn. Final burn, okay. Okay, I'll go this way. Where are you? Eyes right here. Nice. One minute and 23 seconds. Yep, now the stage is going to be a lot easier because every time I get killed, I will not lose my weapons. up that M, the Mega. Stick with the Twin, though, because the Twin looks pretty cool. But I'll switch to the Mega. Nice. W. Wave. Oh, I like the Wave. The Wave is actually a pretty good uh, weapon. Uh, lots of bullets here. Just gotta get the side. The side is a pretty good one as well. 
There's the side. Now see, good thing I had kid bow turned on, otherwise I would be screwed. Is there a one up? Phew, this looks tough, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I had to turn kid mode on. It's not not so easy these Thunder Force games. I mean, the third one's actually pretty easy though. I I've beaten the third one. I've never I've gotten close to finishing this one. Um This gets it gets ridiculous. Uh go this way. Good thing little baby mode exists. <laughs> New to him, must try the Saturn versions. <laughs> well, if you want to give it a shot, Maestro guy. I mean, it's... You lose your weapons every time you get, you get killed. I'm actually doing pretty good so far. Maybe it's that, uh... It's that thought of knowing you're not going to lose your weapons. So you just don't get killed. It's kind of like in bowling when you have the bumpers uh, up, in it, so you don't hack. You don't actually throw throw one in the gutter, you know. But, uh, I very well may. <laughs> Alright, so this I think I just shoot him. I think I just get him with the wave. Get him with the wave right there. Uh, let's go point blank on him. Nice, blew him up. Cool. Side view mission. <laughs> See, they don't call it horizontal. They call it side view mission. Very descriptive title. Okay, so now we go over to the top-down mode. It's the same, same case, basically. Let's see, let's try going for the center here. I think we just blow, all right. We... I remember this level being, uh, the stage being a pain. Just trying to find uh, where you gotta go is annoying. Until you find it and you're like, ah, thank God, found it. Okay, I think I should go this way. Another tough horizontal shooter is Hellfire. I think I've heard of Hellfire. Is that a uh, arcade only? Boom, boom! Come on, go this way. Go there. We go. Perfect. All right, let's go. Let's go up. Claw, craw. Arcade only may have port ports. I oh, got it. Let's go up. I think there's. Is there one over here? I'll go down right. Hmm. We go up. What if we go. What if we go this way? Nice, blew that up. I think there's one more that's opposite side. Should go all the way to the left. A raider, <laughs> a map would be helpful. Yeah, I, I agree. A map would definitely be helpful. The game, to, uh, game doesn't want to be, you know, that simple. They want to be difficult. Okay. <sighs> Missed that power up. Okay. I got killed because I crashed into that wall. I think if I go straight up, I think I'll run across something. Uh, anything over here? What about up here? Anything over nope. I think it's just looping at this point. Um. Hmm. What about... Oh! Last life.
Multiplane scrolling. Something about the multiplane scrolling. I didn't read what you said. Hang on a second. Let me try to find this stupid exit. I think it's... Do I go this way? Let's go this way. Yep, it's right here. Ah, game over. Do I gotta continue? A button to continue. The multiplane scroll multiplane scrolling is very really well done here to give a sense of height. Yep, you got that. Okay, so now the level starts over again, and I don't keep my weapons. That's great. Okay, not a big deal. I'll get them back. Okay, blew that up. funny I, th I had just found where to go and got killed hate when that happens okay is there one yep there's two yep get the crow let's grab a back what's this f here the five. Ooh, five is pretty cool it's a cool weapon uh blow this up ever thought of making your own game which genre would you choose you know it's funny that's a funny question I actually used to make computer games um, back when I was in middle school like uh, like preteen age I used to make like Sonic fan games like I would, I would take I would, they, they, they would call them Sonic fan games it's like you you take Sonic the Hedgehog sprites and I would make my own Sonic game out of them and um, they weren't that. In, in hindsight, they um, they weren't so great. Um, I enjoyed them though, and I actually sh I tried showing other people my games, and they just didn't like it. They, they just you know it, they didn't it didn't appeal to them. Um, but you know, really, it was just me taking Sonic Sprite and putting them into like a jungle or something like something that's like completely out of place. And be like, all right, run from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. There was no challenge at all. But like, oh, I made a game, and that's really what I did. And um, yeah, and I actually um, I did that with Castlevania also. Uh, but I I put a little bit more a little bit more effort into the Castlevania one, especially when uh, getting Richter Belmont to go up and down the stairs. That took me so many hours just to figure out how to do that like perfectly and it still wasn't perfect it still looked janky it was the most jankiest thing I ever created all you had to do is continue with it though eventually it would have stuck stick with an audience yeah hacking making its own games yeah moisture guy you remember that right <laughs> high school project right there Oh, it wasn't a project. I was I, I not like not like to not like to graduate high school or anything. It was just something we did on the side, fun stuff. Yeah, I did a I did like a two level demo of a Castlevania game, where uh, it was like like Simon or Trevor Belmont. Um, it showed how he got to the uh, Dracula's castle in eight bit. And it was, it showed, it, it featured the town from Castlevania 2, like the big, the first, uh, like the first town you're in, um, and you like go into the woods, uh, and then like, you would go into a jungle, and then you, you go through some more woods, and then you'd fight the bat from the first level of Castlevania at the, uh, at Dracula's castle's gates, and then the love, the, the demo would just end. It was so cool, so cool. I still have those old projects in an ancient hard drive. Yes, me too. Me too. Um, I I have all the masters. Um, I think I gave you a CD also that had everything on it. Memories. And then my hard drive crashed in uh, 2005. So I think you you might have some stuff on that hard drive that I don't have anymore. <laughs> Just bury it. Bury it in the lawn. Never find it again so bad it's like it's like finding a, a little uh, a drawing you did when you were a little kid and you're like you, you just cringe over it like oh I made this why did I make this this is so stupid but it was cool yeah it was it was fun I, I had I had fun doing it um, 
If I stuck with it, I think it would have been I think it would have been a good game though. Uh In fact, I think it was so good that you might have you might have thought that you were playing a game on an emulator. That's how good it was. Ooh. Shmup day. Hey, Taranesis. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad you can make it. How you, how you doing? Yeah, we're doing a bunch of uh, horizontal shmups today. Uh, including Thunder Force Gold Packs 1 and 2, which we're starting off with. And we're not doing so good with Thunder Force right now. I'm, I'm lost. I can't find the... I can't find the base I have to blow up. Nope, I'll hold on to them so that one day when you become an ultra-popular partnered retro streamer, I can reveal those old projects to the world and ruin you. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you, you exposed me on, uh... I'll be owned up on Encyclopedia Dramatica or something. He's like... King of Apoc, he put out a shitty Castlevania game back in 2005, and it was so good, we thought it was an emulator the whole time. <laughs> Alright, where is this thing? Where's this stupid... Ugh. I'm good, man. Just woke up. Haha, <laughs> Saturn is such a good system for shmups. Yep, indeed it is. Let's see, Rockman, you said, if I made a game, it would probably be a shooter to start with. Seems easier than a platform. Yep, a shooter, shooters are so easy to, to make. Actually, they may seem very simple to make. Um, once you go into the details of, like, enemy placements and, like, um, enemy formations and so forth, uh, like, like, what part of the stage should the enemy come out? And such uh, the programming that goes into it the scrolling um, it gets a little bit complicated but if you're just doing like your basic uh, shoot the asteroid kind of thing it's 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 pretty simple um, I'm about to get killed and I can't even find this stupid base I have to blow up is it over here it looks like it oh, I got game over screw it screw it uh, you know, I'm not even gonna continue. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Thunder Force Three. Screw it. That's Thunder Force Two. I suck at it. So we'll go to Thunder Force Three. And I think on Gold Pack Two, there's the arcade version of Three. Ah, uh, jeez, I laughed harder than that. I probably should. <laughs> think of how much work a, a guy like Zun does with to Toho is pretty crazy. Toho is pretty crazy considering he does it all solo. Ah, yeah. All right, so hold AC to go into the yeah, go in the ship speed high. Yeah, we want to do high. Oh, there's top speed. Oh, we're doing top speed. The game level normal. Do normal. There's no easy mode on here. We'll do normal. Turn kids mode on because we suck at this. All right, so A sp Oh, so A speed. All right. I guess we start off on the uh, top speed. We'll do that. Okay, so Thunder Force three. Hydra, Ellis, Hades, Gorgon. We'll just start off with Hydra. We'll just go in order. Hydra. Mission level normal. Yeah, we start off the top speed. Cool. And it's funny, I think this game came out on Super Nintendo also. I think it was called Thunder Spirits. And it was like, it was closer to the arcade version, if I remember correctly. All right, so this is pretty. This is better. It's more. It's more horizontal. None of that top-down nonsense where you can't find things. I mean, not. Don't get me wrong. I, I. I like that. It's still a good game, but it's just. You get lost easy. Oh, I got killed. Bummer. Okay, gotta pay attention, I guess. All right, I like this weapon. I'm just shooting behind me, and nothing's happening. All right, cool. Just like that. Perfect. Cool. Just blow that guy up. Oh, this guy. I think that, you know, I think this enemy was in that game Soul Feast for the Sega CD. Oh, hell yeah, I have the SNES card of this, but I was never able to get far. And Maestro Guy says, uh-oh, does this not have a baby mode? <laughs> Rockman, you said, the stage select music on Thunder Force 4 is so damn... Yep, we'll be getting the Thunder Force 4 real soon, depending on how shitty I do in this game. <laughs> Just kidding. I think we'll I think we'll do well. This this game is actually uh, manageable. Without those top down sections. Yeah, the the music in Thunder Force Four is just awesome. 
Uh, I mean, no, no doubt. Uh, you, we all, we all have heard of uh, Metal Squad, aka the Stage Eight music. Uh, Thunder Force Four is amazing. That's like the best. That's like the reason to get up to that stage. Not even to beat the game, but just to just get on that that level, just to hear that tune is awesome. All right, shoot this guy up. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, speaking of how well you do, did you ever get around to finishing that ninja game? You were having issues the other week. What ninja game? What ninja game did I play the other week? I played a lot of games last week. What game did I play last? Oh, um, Shinobi Legions? Shinobi X? Dodge Bombs. Shinobi Legions. Yeah, I still gotta revisit that game. I actually, um... Not next week. Not not this week upcoming, because I actually have... I have plans for, uh... A streaming, uh, a nice, uh, a stream special, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys more about that later in a bit. Um, so I won't revisit that game till like, maybe the following week. But I definitely want to go back and revisit it. Am I gonna get killed? I didn't... Alright, oh, I killed him, nice. And the final balls had a bunch of gems, yep, yep. I, I think we were starting to master that, and, cause I had to, like leave because it was getting too late i was like hey, i'll come back to it later gorgon okay so this mu this music's uh music is really good it's it's great i got killed <laughs> nice music Oh, I got killed. Bummer. Game over. Yes, I want to continue. We'll start off on Gorgon. Alright, I'll try a little bit harder this time. Let's see. Seems like a lot of stuff happens on this stage. I think I gotta dis Yeah, let's go down to a mid. Maybe a high. High speed. Yeah, I got blown up there. Oh, let's see. Do a mid. Stick to mid. Speaking of leaving, 4 a.m. here. Tr trying to get some rest. Enjoy the sh rest of the stream tomorrow. Thanks for the chat. And you guys enjoy. Oh, snap! We got a special guest, Mudo Sama. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate the support, buddy. Mudo raid. Hey, Mudo's here. Happy, happy Mudo, everybody. Hey, Mudo's here. Oh, Mudo, here, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some Daikon emotes just for you. Right here, is spam those Daikon emotes. Welcome, 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 Mudo. How we all doing? Welcome, raiders. Mudo, what were you playing on your stream? I think I caught a glimpse that you went live. I just didn't catch the game. Feel free to let me know what you were playing. Hope it went well. Welcome on in. Let's see here. So we're playing. Uh, we're playing a bunch of horizontal Sega Saturn shoot 'em ups tonight. We're starting off with Thunder Force Gold Packs One and Two, and not doing so good. <laughs> Uh, I had to give up on the second game because I got lost and I didn't feel like continuing. So I'm um, here. We are, here we are on three. I'm actually doing okay on three. Uh, I had to continue once. It seems. Hey, what's going on? Never shuts up. Welcome on in on my stream. How you doing? I've seen you on Pete Doer's stream a couple times. A few games retro to new MSX CPU versus CPU. Test and cry star. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, never sh shuts up. S Thank you for the follow. Appreciate the support, buddy. Welcome on in. 
Hope you enjoyed that gif of uh, Sagata Sanshiro jumping off the building to save Sega from blowing up. Saving the, the Dreamcast launch. Cool. There's a one-up down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it. Yay, got it. Nice. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, got the H right here. <sighs> How was I supposed to avoid that? There it is. Go right in. We'll go right in. Nice. <sighs> emergency. Emergency. Coming in. Coming in. Oh, crap. Should have paid more attention there. Do I have, like, a side weapon I can use? Yeah, we'll use that. Ooh. Come back here. Yeah, I'll shoot that. Oh, I blow that guy up. Can I blow? Can I blow this guy up? Nice, got killed. Hey, lady, want my floppy disk? <laughs> ha. Love those emotes. I went on his stream. I was like, I'm doing it for the emotes. I went and subscribed just for the emotes. He was so happy that I did. <laughs> Let's see. Cool. What do we got here? Oh, I was under. Okay. I think I'm on like underwater. That's why it was pushing me up. Okay. Let's go grab that H. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Cool. I like this weapon. It seems to be doing a lot of damage. Hey, lady. Want my floppy disk or not? Stop ignoring me, lady. Which one's lady? Who's lady? My lady? <laughs> Who's lady? Who's that lady? Stage 120k? <laughs> where's, my, where's the floppy disk? Where's that guy? Let's see. Where's the floppy disk? I like loot. Yeah, floppy disk. Yeah. Floppy list. This nice. The boom. Oh, nice. Extra life. Let's see here. No floppy D for me, thank you. Oh, never shuts up his lady. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. Aw. Floppy disk. No floppy D. Let's see here. Emergency. 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 Oop. Oh. Okay, can we, can we beat this guy? Let's... Let's take a look at his attack pattern here. Okay. Looks like we could dodge him. Oop. Oh, nice. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> this is an easy boss. We got through it. Hey, Hades. The target is G Lobster. Weak point is the eye. Okay, let's go fight him. Pick up the F. Ooh. Ooh. I, good thing I was on my toes there. The stage uh, caves in on you, sort of. Heh. 
Hello, I see your channel awards. Do you like? Do you dislike Cheerios or love them? I love Cheerios, uh, and that's why I put them up there. I, I like the I like the apple cinnamon Cheerios. Yeah, I don't know it was it was just something random I thought of. Actually, like I had another reward up there, um, where like I, I was actually in the food store. I picked up like one of those uh those Slim Jim like pork rind things. It was like uh was, like spicy um Slim Jim pork rinds. And I, I was like, hmm, this would be a cool channel reward to put up. And I was like, all right, for 10000 I think it was like 5000 or 10000 I don't know. I think it was like, it was something ridiculous. I was like, all right, redeem this reward. I will try a Slim Jim pork rind on the stream. And I actually tried it. And that shit was just, it was pork, it was like nasty pork rind, but like filled with like that spicy powder that they like put to like make chips like spicy it was just it was just all powder and i was like ah can't eat this and i had just had to just throw it away so i replaced it with the cheerio reward so i'll i'll have one cheerio if you redeem 10,000 channel points two for 50 i think it's 50,000 for two 100k for a whole bowl and I'll chug the whole box for like I think it was like two hundred thousand, and I'll make you a VIP. Which uh, probably won't happen. So far, I have three ten points to go, so I got a while to go. All right, yep. All right, you'll get there. You'll get there. I forgot what else I put up there too. Um. been a while since I looked there I think I, I think I disabled the do a dab one it was getting annoying because I don't know how to do a dab sort of and I kind of dab every now and then on stream anyway so like right after this oh I, I missed the one up right after this boss I'll probably do a dab just for everybody I gotta make it to the boss first I only have like 11, 11,000 channel points. Ah. Should have, uh, should have chipped in for the, uh, Street Fighter, the movie, the game reward. Then I never fulfilled, but I'll probably end up playing that game anyway, just for the hell of it. One day. Oh. Ooh, extra life as I died. Nice. Let's pick up the S. And about 600,000 Pete only. Oh, so you could redeem the VIP badge on his channel. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, saving up for that. I, I was gonna redeem one for his uh, stream tonight on the for the eBay hunt, but it was already out of stock. I guess that reward is just so high in demand that everybody just like wants him, wants to see Pete look up a game on eBay. That's good. Mods can't get VIP. Mods higher than VIP. Yep. Yep, they are actually. That's true. <laughs> hey, VGF969. Lol at Moodoo. <laughs> Let's see. Moodoo rich in points. Uh, didn't see much of Moodoo, but I'm sure it was a great waifu game. Have over 600,000 channel points of Peach. Ah, okay. Yeah, I gotta get up there. Nice, kill the boss, and that's get a fake dab, fake, fake dab. Oh wait, no, fake. You get the dab, get get my dab, my version of dab right there. All right, next stage is Elise, mobile fort control unit is the weak point. Okay, here we go. Only have twenty-seven thousand points here. Yeah. Yeah, I should come up with some more rewards. Um, 
fun, maybe something like fun, like, uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of, a lot of the rewards are, like, do a push-up or something. Hey, VGF69, thank you for the follow. Appreciate the support, buddy. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the Sagata Sanshiro gif. I always talk about when everybody, somebody, uh, follows. Let's see what we got here. Uh, NSU, so kinky ba babes in undies fighting each other. <laughs> that was about 700,000, but I redeemed it 45k to win that PS4 game, and I did one. Oh, sweet, nice. What, P what PS4 game did you win? Hope it was a good, hope it was a good one. Blow that thing up. Most redeemed too. Mm. It's like an ice level, I think. Oh, that's right. I, re I just remember what um what reward I have in there. I forgot. I have the Weird the Kasumi Ninja headband reward. I think it's like 2,000 points or something like that, or 5,000 points. Which is uh, Kasumi Ninja. That's the um, that's that shitty Atari Jaguar game. It came with the free headband. And my copy comes with the headband, so I put that as a, put that as a channel reward. Uh, it's fun. That kind of stuff is fun. Ooh, going this way. All right. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Oh, what we got here? Uh. Nice. Pull that up. I'm getting there. Nice, killed him. Sweet. I have no idea how many points are in Pete's stream I have. I think I have like twenty thousand in, in his stream, so I'm getting up to the two hundred thousand reward soon. Watch by the time I get up there, he's probably gonna like either discontinue it or or increase it. That, that usually happens in that in that kind of uh, situation. It's actually this this one uh, stream I go on. Uh, the his name's DS Koopa. He streams out of his uh, video game store, Pink Gorilla. He has a channel reward where if you re redeem a hundred thousand channel points, um, you get a free video game in his store. And, like, I got so close to, like, redeeming that reward. He took the reward down because too many people were buying, like, getting free games off him. So he took it down. But then later, um, I went and I redeemed the rewards on, like, stupid stuff. Which, um, like, he had, like, two fifty thousand rewards. And I redeemed those. And he put on another reward recently where, um, if you redeem 100,000 points... You get to go shopping in his store virtually for five whole minutes, and uh, he does it on camera and calls you out, and you just you go shopping in his store for five minutes. But um, I had wasted my hundred thousand points, so I couldn't, I can't redeem it anymore. So I'm like on a slow grind, redeem, you know, getting back up to hundred thousand points. 
I said what game I won from the 45k on Pete's last month. Okay. I guess I was not here, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll have to. Uh, I guess I'll have to dig and find out what game it was. But uh, yeah, I'm on a slow. I'm on a slow grind uh, to get back to a hundred thousand points on his channel, so I could go and shop virtually in a store for five minutes. But like everybody, I think everybody cleaned house in his store already. <laughs> For like all the good stuff, um, but he's probably gonna like take down that reward by the time I get there. So I just, you know, moral of the story is just don't spend your points on it on everything. Just just let it bank, you know. But uh, yeah. I only let people visit murder basement virtually. <laughs> it was in chat. Uh, Darius. Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade. Oh, I must have missed that. Okay, Darius, you won Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade PS4. Code raffle from P. Oh, nice, Darius. Co nice, Darius. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Good. That was a good find. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that in in the chat. I think you had posted that. I, I it just went over my head completely. I'm sorry. Ooh, gotta go into this little hole here. Game over. Uh-oh. Game over. It's alright, we'll just continue. Yes, I want. I would love to continue. This looked like a fun stage. Cerberus. Snap. Okay. Take the F. Sweet. Oh, I got a side. I just realized that. Okay, so I could use the side to, like, get enemies on the side. It's good stuff. Get the L. Eh, backward shot right here. Oh, can I get the H? Let me grab that H. Nice. Yeah, gotta get that H. Can't wait for the next NSU stream. Want to see the murder garage. What is this murder garage? Oh, oh, okay. Never shuts up. NSU. Ne ah, never shuts up. You do a stream. Okay. I it took me a while to get what that is. Okay. What is murder garage, though? I'm just curious. What is that? Is that like a game or something? Or is that like something... Is that something like gimmicky? Just curious. I'm so behind on things. Thing up. There you go. Stay here. Something I see you do, especially the mur murder base. <laughs> oh, I just lost my shield. Okay, I just gotta be careful. Oh, I blew this guy up. Nice. So I guess we go inside. Born base. Is 
So I think there's two levels of this base, and I think you fight a final boss. So we're getting close to the end of this game, so we're getting there. So I'm like debating when we, when I pop in Dunner Force Gold Pack 2, should I play? Because I know that it comes with the arcade version of this game. I, th I think the arcade version has like another level of this game. Or should I just dump, jump right into the fourth Thunder Force game? Which I'm probably gonna jump into the just gonna jump into the fourth Thunder Force game. Just to keep the keep the collection moving, the the variety, keep the variety moving. Oh crap! What did you what did what'd you do? Oh, you know what you did, Mudu? You said waifu on the stream. You say waifu on the stream. You get you get auto modded. Why, why is that? I have no idea. I think we've been through this before. He blocked the Moodoo. <laughs> yeah. Can't say banana. Can't say waifu. What else can you say? Oh, missed that extra life. New from Twitch this year, yeah. You can't mention uh, a certain type of beer, actually. Yeah, yeah. You can't mention a certain type of a certain brand of beer, because um, I actually got automated once before for mentioning uh, I like this kind of beer with lime. So I had to say Land Shark Lager instead. I couldn't say the other kind of beer because it's ban. It's a banned word now. Or I think I think the the streamer that I was watching just banned the word the single word from the brand of beer, so I couldn't. Nice. It's just, it's just that Twitch Automon recent months becomes particularly strict. What? Why? Yeah, Meister guy. Um, you can't say um. You can't say Corona beer because it's banned. Or I think the the I don't think it I don't I don't think he uh I don't th I don't think it's it's like banned banned but I think he the person that I was watching banned the word. So when I says when he when he asked on the stream what's your favorite beer I put down Corona Corona beer and uh, Corona light and they were like. Twitch was like, no, you've been auto auto modded. So it's just like, ah. Uh. So I don't know if it's just an auto mod thing or he probably said it. I haven't actually tried it, but uh Yeah. I guess they just don't want you talking about it. <laughs> so it is what it is, but uh, I would thing is I wasn't even talking about that. I was I just I was talking about like what my fa one of my favorite beers are. That's fucked up. You can't say a beer name. Yeah, I think he. I honestly think he turned it off himself. It wasn't an auto mod, but um. Oh, you said it. Okay, you're good. You're good. Yeah, he he he. It was an auto mod. He turned it off himself. That's what I thought. Emergency, emergency. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say something witty in chat, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Okay, I think this is the final boss right here. Ooh. Nice, blew that guy up. Just had a point blank that dude. Oh, 
Okay, Orncore Cha OS. Okay, this is the last level. No problem, just add you some more. <laughs> Waifu. Is this the last boss? I think so. I'm just gonna go point, point blank him, point blank him. Nice! Sweet. I've killed him? Nope. This is the final boss. Alright, I just gotta watch his bullet fire. Dead. Ah, came over. Murusa, how's your loot Ventai <laughs> games? Oh, see, now I know what happened. Um, I lost all my good weapons now. Can I even point blank this sucker? I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go all the way up to him. Yeah, I can do this. Oh snap! Oh wow! I got whoa! I got a sub. Somebody just give me a sub. What, what happened here? I see something going on in the chat. Cindy, succubus Cindy is. Wow! Welcome to the King's Club, Mudu Sama. Welcome to the King's C succubus Cindy. Thank you for the two gifted subs. Got one to Bovine Divine. Thank you. Welcome to the King's Club, Bovine. Welcome to the King's Club, Mudo Sama. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate appreciate the support, Cindy. And I think that I think you get those emotes out there. <laughs> oh no, suck up, Cindy, with the gift subs. Thank you, thank you, Cindy, for the support. You didn't have to, you didn't have to do that, but thank you, appreciate it. Everybody, give it a round of applause for Cindy. Yay! Cindy going out with the gift subs. Yay, 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 yay. Cindy, welcome to the stream. Appreciate the support. How you doing? Yay. Now you guys could now Moodoo can spam my chat with the uh with my Montana the dog emote and the GG's. I got permanent talk ban from stream once for talk for asking questions about the game the streamer was playing. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Hey, I remember you, JYEO Tool. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing? Welcome on in. Appreciate appreciate coming in here and making out finally. What's going on? Yep, doing well too. We're on the uh, final boss of Thunder Force 3. We're playing the special compilation pack, Thunder Force Gold Pack 2 for the... No, Gold, Gold Pack 1 for the Sega Saturn. And I think I just beat the boss. Is there another form? Oh, sweet, I beat it. Nice. <laughs> yep, and I get to, we get to sit back and watch the ending to this game. Mission completed. Bonus. Left bonus. 10,000 points times 7. Yeah, we did it. We beat the game. Nice. Cool stuff. GG. GG. Now, see, Muda, this is the time to put down the GG emote. Hey, dog, you want my floppy disk? <laughs> oh. Yay, GG. I gotta make that GG a little bit more legible. I thought, um... I thought it came, when I was when I was doing it in the the thanks for the GGs yeah um when I did it in my uh, the paint editor that tool that I was using I um I thought the GG was eligible uh, when when it's enlarged it is and as I was shrinking the image to make it fit like I think it's like 28 by 28 pixels it like shrunk up I'm like ah oh well. I think people will know it's GG, so yeah, so there it is. There's my GG emote. I think the next, if I ever get another emote slot open, I think the next one I'll do is maybe either like a raid emote or like something like, like, uh, like a, like a, like a lull or like a, a rage emote or something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, car, car. Car three N four twenty. Welcome on in. So that's Karen four twenty. Can I speak to the manager? How you doing, Karen four twenty? What's going on? 
Took me a second year to register what you were talking about there. A remote? <laughs> a remote? You mean like a remote? A remote. Besides, his computer brain was developing blah blah extraordinary. Blah blah blah. Not even reading the story chat. Uh, let's see. Like a tantrum. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. So yeah, how you doing, Cindy? It's it's been a, it's been a minute. What's going on? How's your Saturday doing? I hope hope you're not working tonight, are you? Are you are you home? Hope you're home, enjoying your Saturday. Nah. Gotcha. home right now nice sweet sweet opening mail nice I love mail the only kind of mail I like opening up is like either when I get a new credit card in the mail or if it's a package I got from eBay that's the only kind of mail I like to open the rest it's like you are overdue on your bills. No, I'm just kidding. I'm never overdue on my bills. I, I always pay my bills. But it's like usually like a bill that I'll get in the mail. But then it's like something I already know about. Like I have auto deduct from my bank. Like it, it, it's already taken care of. Like. <laughs> yeah. What an ending. Got both of those. <laughs> Hold up. Has the mood dude not been banned like opening all my love letters written to me from me, <laughs> from me. <laughs> sure you do <laughs> all right so looks like we cleared one game we failed at another on here uh, so we beat the third game we gave up on two cuz I just like oh look, <laughs> look at that <laughs> Look at that dude with the mustache. He's got a he's got a epic mustache over there. And look, that that guy is clearly kissing the girl with the red hair. And there's the blonde dude in the back. They're celebrating, and th that kind of reminds me of us right now. We're just celebrating because I won this game. And uh, I got packages, and my replacement credit card has a fox on it. Ah, oh, sweet. He has a Tony Stark stash. Manual is done by Opa. Wording by Neptune. Alright. So, since this is over, I think I'll pop in Thunder Force Gold Pack 2. I think I'll just jump right into the fourth game. I'll skip over the AC. Thunder Force, which is essentially... It is just, it is just uh, Thunder Force 3... In arcade form so we'll go right into the fourth game I don't think we're gonna beat the fourth game because it's really hard but if we could get up to the metal squad uh, stage 8 where it plays metal squad then I think that's a, I consider that a win right there save Atlantia from the per <laughs> fantasy hey sigatastic what's going on well come on in Ugh, I only have pack two pack two is the bet is the better pack I admit, because it has the fourth game. Or light lightning force that came out on the Genesis. Alright, so this is the end. Can I hit start? No, it's just gonna freeze there. Alright, so I'm gonna go swap out the diesel very right back. Oh snap. Wait a second. Somebody somebody's been auto modded again. Alright. Oh. Somebody said why foo. It's a banned word from Twitch, so we uh we'll let the message come in. She said she is strong independent waifu who don't need your <laughs> waifu is banned from Twitch. 
Hey, Rad Zombie, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you? How we doing today? Happy, happy Saturday evening. So let's change this cover art to the two, right here. We'll bring that down. Let's let's get you over here. Yeah. Perfect. How, how's how she look? Yeah, we'll bring you down like that. Cool. Gold pack one's more common, but can't get a good price i actually not to brag or anything no joke i got gold pack number one for five dollars at a convention uh i was at the a, a video game convention in parsippany new jersey um the seller had this in a bin like not on the table it was in a bin like a bucket underneath the table and he's like yeah i got more games down on the bin so i'm like going through the bin he had this game for five bucks he had a disc only copy of doom for the sega saturn japanese version i picked that up and then i think he had one other game um i, I forgot off the top of my head what it was but uh i think it was um oh i know what it was it was uh sega ages memorial selection volume two he wanted five bucks for that so <laughs> I, I lucked out with this and then the, th the funny thing was, I actually had my friend come in and help me out because I didn't have any cash on me at the time. I was like, hey, I was like, hey, do you take credit cards? He's like, no. And then my friend was like right next to me. He's like, yeah, I'll spot you. <laughs> no problem. I was like, thank you. I would have missed out on a good deal like this. So rummaging through bins of jank games. <laughs> yeah, he actually, the same seller showed up at another convention um, recently. And he had a copy of Galjan. And I think he wanted like ten bucks for it. I think he knew he knew what the prices were. I think he was just trying to get rid of it, like move it. So like, I just picked up Gal Jam, which is the it's the the sexy uh, nudie mahjong game where like uh, they rotoscoped all the girls, like like full motion video of the girls, and then they just turned it into like an animation through the rotoscope. Gotta get in on those deals with a Z. Yeah, I know, right? Americans have so many options. Conventions, flea, mo flea markets, Facebook, etc. Sexy nudie game. Say no more, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I can't play it on here. I'll be banned from Twitch forever. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, Sega Testing. I remember you were telling me uh, the, the other week uh, how it's really hard for you to get games uh, imported because you're from... UK, you have to deal with import duties and taxes and such. It's a shame. We're off or up. All those apps have for the deals. Yep. Yep. Craigslist isn't so popular. Man. So, yeah. So, you got two games on this pack. We've got Thunder Force AC, which is the third game in arcade form. Um, I was going to... Like I would, I would say it's the same game we just played, but there's actually more levels involved. Oh, don't you go away! Don't go to demo mode. I didn't hit start. I was just explaining why we're skipping the arcade game. We're gonna go right into. We're just gonna go right into four. That's that's the plan here. We're gonna go right into the fourth game because it has a kick-ass soundtrack right here. So hit start. Go to Thunder Force Four. Only kind of nudes allowed. <laughs> Just open up that box for whatever reason you had. An had another box in it with your name. Just figure out when it what it was when you bought Mega Man 5 for me. When oh yeah, Mega Man 5 for your birthday. Yeah, I hooked your brother up with that game. Back in high school. You were in high school. I think you were a senior in high school. I was like in college already. Like I had a credit card and everything. And... You're like, hey, can you go get me this game? Because you didn't have a credit card. And I remember what it was like back then in high school to get something you wanted and you could only get it online. You couldn't because you didn't have a credit card back then. But, like, looking back as an adult, there there were ways we could have done it. And Sega-tastic, you just got auto-modded again. What happened here? Why did you get auto-modded? Oh, Sega-tastic. I think I know why you got auto-modded. You, you, uh, you use that abbreviation of Japanese as the three-letter word that's, like, offensive. 
Uh, yeah, just use JP from now on. Don't yeah, I, I don't take offense, but I know other people would probably. So yeah, just just uh, letting you just want to remind you about that again. No no biggie. It's ha yeah yeah I used to I used to I think everybody used to do it back in the day. So yeah, we'll turn on kids mode. Lightning strikes again for Metal Squad is so OP. Yeah, I've gotten the speeding ticket from that remix. Nice. Lucky King caught it before I did. Yeah. No, that was a good thing. That was a good find. I found Mega Man 5 Complete Box for like $25 on eBay. And I picked it up just for his brother because it was his birthday. So I hooked you up with it and, you know, that game just like shot up in value. It's such a great game. That's like one of my favorite Mega Man games in the series. So, yeah, I figure I'll let you, let you guys in on a little something. So, um, next week, I am planning to have another mini marathon type of uh, stream. But, uh, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, so, I went to a I went to an anime convention last year called Anime NYC. It's an anime convention in New York City. And there were a bunch of tables there that were selling import games. One of them was called the Retro Psycho Table, which they're based out of uh, Atlanta, Florida. They sell on eBay, but they had a they had a, they were physically at this convention, so I figured I wanted to go see them. They just so happened to have Rockman Complete Works for PlayStation One, one through six volumes, one through six, which is Rockman one, two, three, four, five, and six Famicom titles ported to the PlayStation go up we'll go left right down for that yep sure yes and uh can i speak to the manager hey karen <laughs> wow what a fine yes yeah, so i picked i picked that Rockman setup uh for playstation all six of them i haven't played them yet and i have all six Rockman games for famicom i i, I could play those but so this is the mini marathon I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play every single Rockman game in that collection. Two Rockman games a day, starting I think Monday. I I I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'll do. I'll start it tomorrow. But uh, cause you know I'm, I want to do it all in a week. So I'll do Rockman one through six for the Famicom next week, and then uh, I will play Rockman seven for Super Famicom, which is why I was playing the analog uh the other day actually. That's the real reason why I whooped out the analog, just to test test it out, see if it works. Apparently, there was something wrong with the aspect ratio. I have to fix that up. So, we'll play Rockman 7 on the analog. Rockman 8 will be on the Saturn. And then Mega Man 9, 10, and 11 I'll play on the Switch. So, we'll do all 11 Rockman games on stream next week. Starting with Monday, so to squeeze everything in, I'll do like two games a day. Okay, so like you need to be a little cautious moving your head around while speaking. Almost gave me a heart attack just now. What did I do? What is wrong with my head, man? What happened? Oh, I know what I did. Uh, I spoke loud in the mic, right, and gave it, gave everybody a little shocker, right? <laughs> Is that what it is? I'm sorry, guys. Audio got loud. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. This is why I gotta get this guy in working order. This is why I gotta get this guy in working order. But uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta figure out how that works. It's okay. It's a good week. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? JY, JY. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I appreciate, it. uh, appreciate you letting me know about my loud voice uh, when I moved my head. Yeah, so uh, gonna gonna do a Rockman marathon uh, next week, starting with Monday. All eleven Rockman games. So we. Will... The easiest way to pronounce my name is J Y J I. Ah, oh, J I. Okay. Awesome. Curse my parents for trying to be original. Buying shmups is pricey business. Okay. Okay, J I. Gotcha. I'll remember that. Why we got Darius Cosmic Collection? Oh, this game's super pretty. Yep.
scrolling backgrounds are so sick and this music yep uh yeah this is uh yeah thunder force uh four by technosoft technosoft did a lot of good uh soundtracks in their games i'll do the back shot on this guy here Sweet. It's like, let's see, only got the standard Thunder Force Five to Saturn, not the, not the I the LE version, uh, limited edition version. Yeah, I got the standard too. I was like, hmm, should I do one more? One more what? What are you doing, Cindy? What you what you plan on doing? Yeah, blow up this guy from the in the back here. Sweet. Ah, oh, gift. <laughs> That's up to you, Sydney. I'm not. I'm not. Not giving you any obligations. So let's see here. C15 views. Viewers. A oh, sweet. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to the, the view count. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Can this guy just die already? Yeah, my show guy. You're right. I, yeah, I don't. I don't really look at the the view count. It's like, uh, it's like when you're playing basketball, um, or like, say if you were like playing basketball for a sports team, you like, you're paying attention to that shot clock the whole entire time. It it just throws you off. That's why I don't do it either. Okay, finally get to fight this boss. This is the first boss in the game. I'm just realizing that. Uh, <laughs> couldn't even finish this yet. Uh, this is actually pretty cool uh, boss music right here. Go right under this guy. Yeah, just like that. Oh snap. Eh. Ooh, I got an extra life. Sweet. That's some good, some good stuff. I gotta turn on the kids mode. This guy's gonna get killed finally. Oh, state. Nice.
Hmm. Let's see here. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, huh. Shoot this guy down. Stay right in the center. This guy just die already? Oh crap! There we go. I'll just point blank him. Uh, nope. Ah, there you go. Got him finally. Sweet. Let's see. Next level. Stage one. We're gonna go to this level. Like this track. Can't even tell you're doing damage. So many summer sales on games on limited run games released so many games this month. There were like five Fridays this month, so two. Uh, they're not flashing or anything. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, two months straight, no no break every Friday. Yeah, limited run games. I don't really I don't really uh, I don't really go after limited run anymore. Because uh, it's just they're just a pre-order site, they're just a glorified pre-order site. Like if like if the stuff was in stock, I didn't have to wait two whole months, then I would probably still, maybe I would consider buying off of them. But like the the window of like waiting is is too great. Um, you know, two three months is okay, but if you have to wait a whole year. To get something that you want is just it's too much by the time you get the item you, you, you already lost track of uh, you, you lost interest you know that's my two cents on the limited run stuff but I know I know they do it like that because they want to make sure they they meet the their quantity um, so yeah Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Survive that. That's good stuff. Nice. This is the boss fight. Last life. Can I survive? Do a hundred percent. Rail gun. Yep. Oh snap! <laughs> we got another gift sub. Thanks for the thanks for the gift sub, Cindy. Nostalgic Dan, welcome to the uh, the stream. Welcome to the uh, Kings Club, man. Get to you. enjoy those emotes. There's two emotes that I have. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts of Cindy once again. Thank you for the support.
Let's see here. Nice. Yeah, it just looks like I'm gonna have to kill this guy with the uh, railgun. It's the only, th only weapon that shoots backwards. Uh, bleed. Railgun. Nice, blew it up. Sweet, took him down. I hate this level so much, by the way. This sand level is like the worst. Like the boss is so freaking hard. Let's see here. Uh, game over? Yes, I would like to continue. Alright, well, at least we're on this stage now. <sighs> gotta be careful if these guys pop out of nowhere. Do 50% speed, that should work. Back shot. Snap. Nice. Okay. This guy. Nice. Get some life. Extra life. Good stuff. Nice boss fight. What do we got here? B, you gotta be. This boss, all I have to do is just go up and down, like avoid his shots. Okay, I'll stay right down here. Go easy. I think I got him. Come on, go down, go down, kill him. All right, come up here. Right down. Yeah, go down, 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 down. Come on. Come on. 
I, by the way, I see I see messages in the chat. Sorry if I'm not replying. I'm just trying to beat this boss. And I'll take a look at the chat. We'll gladly chime in. Let's see here. Can we kill this guy? This guy just... Oh, I, think I, I think he's got one more. One more form here. This is the last form right here. He's like shooting missiles out out of his beak. Ah, okay, that's all right. Thank, thankfully, we got the kid mode on. Oh, last form. Nice, got him. Sweet. Oh, hey, upside down. Matt is in the stream. What's going on today, Matt? How we doing? Here, let me catch up on the chat. I'll pause it up. Let's see here. I know, Cindy, you guys were talking about statues, so I'll, I'll let that let those chats go. Statues are cool. Nostalgic Dan. Yep, yeah, thank, thank you, Cindy, for the gift sub to Nostalgic Dan. Now, Nostalgic Dan could uh, enjoy the Montana the Dog emotes. Truth, truth, truth be told, he is in the house today, Montana the Dog. Um, I think he's in the other room. He'll, he might wander in here. We, we'll go... I'll gladly show you guys off to him. Uh, let's see, Dan is pro lurker as always. Nice. Upside down, Matt came in. Oh, shmup knife. Nice. Let's see, streamer, streamer can see us. Quick, say wholesome things. Nice. Can't see us say wholesome things. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, welcome on in. Uh, welcome on in, upside down, Matt. How we doing? Hope your Saturday is going well. It was a uh, crazy weather we had today, though, on a Saturday. Uh, it like it rained all it rained this morning, and then, like throughout the day, uh, I think I passed out during the day. But then like the sun came out, it looked like it was gonna storm, but then like it just didn't storm. But like tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day, so we'll uh, hopefully have a better one. Doing good, just goofing off at work. Thankfully, almost done. 45 minutes to go. Oh, nice. Maybe there soon. Sooner or later. You can enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Alright, boss fight now. Back down here. Oh, lost my shield. That's all right. Ooh, that's all right. Thank God I have the kid mode turned on. I would have been screwed a long time ago. Uh, okay. Can't lose all my lives. Cool. Boss fight? Sweet. Boss fight. Okay. Here's my best weapon on this guy. It right down there. Back down. Okay, cool. Ah, crap. Okay, one life. Zero life counts, by the way, so if I get killed, I got another life. Too many bullets. Uh, gotta find a safe point. Okay. 
Nice. Killed him. Is it another form? Sweet. Beat him. Did it. Okay. What do we got now? There's like the stage five level. I think he gives us like the thunder. Oh crap. This is the this is the level where I get the uh, the special attack. Boss fight. Exhaust. Sweet. Game over. That's all right. I would like to continue. I got five credits left. I think it. Yeah, it starts me here. Good. Okay, this is a good. Good place to get uh, continue on. Just gotta be careful here. We'll go down to the 50% shot here. This guy's like throwing a lot of bullets at me. Let's see. Varga. Oh, welcome into the stream, Varga. How you doing? So I was gonna follow up your stream by streaming some turbo stuff, but I totally forgot that my scart box died years ago. Might as well order the OSSC. Yeah, go for it, man. Wonder who got the hyperscape emotes. Ah, the hyperscape emotes. Yeah, we got. I think those emotes are. You, you can earn those emotes until Monday. Those emotes look. Uh, the red one looked pretty sick. Yes, nice. Twin shot. Ah, uh, Matt's got them all. He's got all the emotes. Pay attention here. Let's see. Yep, Ken can't see the screen. You say say a bunch of awesome things. <laughs> okay, so I think these two turret guns are on my side that are going up and down. Can't seem to sh uh, can't seem to shoot at them. So can I? Can I? Yeah, I'll use one of these. Nice. Get one of those. Cool. Come on. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got this this boss right here. Shoot a snake at him. Just keep shooting at him. Oh, yep. They're all like freeways. Shoot the freeways at him. Oh. Oh, snap. Uh, okay, I think this is where I get that power up. They give me a power up. And I think. If I'll, if I'm on kid mode, I get to keep it. Stage five clear. Okay, we're going up to stage six. I don't think I get to keep this if I get killed though. This is like the ice water level. So we're getting close to the Metal Squad level, which is like the reason why a lot of people listen to the soundtrack of this game. Metal Squad. Sweet. That water ripple effect's pretty cool. Alright, 
So, can I make it through here? Nice. Nice, got my shield. Go right through. Ooh, bullets. Nice. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Get the S, the shield. Alright, cool. Hey, back shot. Nice. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, this is a stretch right here. That was a tight, tight box, tight hit box right there. Take it easy. Oh. Sweet. Stay right here. Nice. Got down that guy. I think I got one more. I think it's the boss. I think we'll take him down, no problem. Boss coming up. Alright, let's take him down. Here we go. Alright, this boss, I remember being very tricky. Lost my special weapon, of course. Alright, take him down. Can I point blank him at least? Freeway. Yeah, just use the freeway on him. Hey, I'll just stay in the back of him and just shoot. Seems to work. Yeah, so yeah, Varga, I've been debating, uh, cause I've been debating about getting either the the OSSC or the retro tank, because I found out recently they've released the new retro tank, which is like it does the it, it supports the SCART output uh input. Uh, I thought I could kill the guy. One more. Oh, sweet! Killed the guy. I forgot you could totally charge up your shot there. Okay, so we're going to the seventh level. We're getting close to the. We're getting very close to the eighth stage. Which has the the rock and tunes. Yeah, do I, looks like I get to keep that shit if I uh, charge up my craw. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> I get to charge up my shot if I'm not firing. That's pretty cool. Nice. Right, pick up a crow. Let's just cut through this lava part right here. Looked like the game sort of glitched out. Like it, it held on to those sprites that I like destroyed. Right? I think that was a part of the weapon. Sampler disc stream? What's that sampler disc stream you're talking about, Varga? You got a sampler disc? Catch the chat. I'll catch up the chat in a little bit. There's too much going on on screen right now. Too much, uh, too much 16-bit action going on right now. All right, 
boss fight should be coming up right, very soon. Very, very soon. I use the freeway on him. Let's see, can I get him with the charge shot at least? It was an amazing demo disc that we got for PlayStation that me and my sisters played the hell out of. Okay, I guess I get something set up for it. If Ep Ep Epoch would be kind of read, could be time f going live for it. Yep, you got it. No problem. You got it, Varga. I think your time is due. Keep in mind, Varga, I'm going through an entire stack of imports. I'm on two. I'm on like the second disc of like. Seven, so just keep in mind this might be a late stream. So you know. Just giving you the heads up right now. I'm gonna, I'm about to get killed. Last life. dead. Come on. Dude, don't kill yourself. Hold some time for next. <laughs> oh, dude, don't kill yourself. Oh, well, it's the, it's the horizontal streaming night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Well, no, we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. I got, there's a ton of shooters to the system. Could always go back for a part two. Apoc be celebrating with pizza after you get the high school. <laughs> nice. Oh, I do get to. I do keep my my uh, weapon. Oh, got an extra life out of that. Get that crop. Sweet. Nice. So I do keep I do keep that charge. That's pretty cool. come from. It's annoying. Ah, took a little damage there. Snake. Yeah, I'll use the snake shot. Sweet. I go right through. Ooh, got an extra life. Look at that. Can I pick up that crow? Nice. Get the S, nice. I think that's a sh it's not a shield. Oop, we're going right to the boss fight. All right, wish me luck, guys. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get through this boss fight, and the at and the stage after this boss is Metal Squad stage eight. So I think this time, I think what I should do is just shoot at the guy until he's he's gone.
Alright. Oh, here's the boss. Alright, so we just shoot at him. So he's gone. Boom, right here. I think he slams down again. Wait, wait. And... Boom, yes he does. And I got killed. Just kind of point blank this guy. Ooh, getting intense. He's changing colors. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Sweet, I got him. All right, Q, if you're still in the chat, we're going to go to stage eight right now. The best tune. Best tune in the game. Damn, died. Grab the H. Hunter, nice. Good weapon. Fight one of these guys. You're back grabbing GameCube stuff? Yeah, no problem, Varga. Ah, oh, crap. I'm just gonna use the Hunter on this guy. You know, I should just use my charge. Yeah, I use my charge. Charge shit. Uh... Sweet. Stick to the charge. Shield out. All right, go back to the hunter. I'm on my last life. I gotta be careful. Another hunter. Game over. All right, I'm gonna use the continue. Got three credits to go. Thankfully, we keep our charge shot. If we get our hunter back. That'd be pretty good. my hunter <sighs> why'd I do that Where's my charge shot? I think I think I could get the charge shot when I get my orbs. There you go. He goes away. There he is. Got my extra life. Let's just go back to hunter shot. Go up here. Oh, this guy. Boom. 
think if I just stay up here, I should be our... No. <laughs> nice. Last part right here. Yeah, right here. That's alright. Go right through there. Alright, I got my charge shot back. Yes. Hold that B button down. I think I'm like absorbing his shot. Nice. Extra life. Cool. Going for the F. Freeway. Let's go up. Cool. Another boss. Is this the boss fight? Or we got one more. Stay back. Yeah, I didn't know he was gonna shoot. I knew he was gonna shoot at me. Back here. Back to the blue. Back on the blue. Alright, cool. Alright, we're going through here. Boss fight coming up. Nice. Makes that jingle when you come up to a boss fight. There we go. Alright, so we stay right in the center. Can we get this guy? Ah, can I point black him at least? Sweet. King of APOC, more like King of Sega. What's going on, Bubble-O? How we doing tonight? Happy Saturday. Nice. Sweet. Blow him up. Oh, is this his second form? It looks like. Yeah, it does. Uh. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, <sighs> game over. Hey, JR. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Two more credits? Yeah. Might as well finish these credits out. At least we're on the like the best like level in the game. With the best music. Uh off to a good start already. Go for the hunter. Hunter. Oh crap. Back to the hunter.
damn. <laughs> actually, I actually attempted to do that. Point blank him. Nice. Okay, that, that seemed to work that time. The point blank stuff. Hmm. Let's stay up top this time. This part, I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, that worked. Oh, crap. Nice. Okay, that sort of worked. But I have like one life left. Yeah, if I pull if I pulled that off a little bit differently, I think I could have and it better better for me okay so this part oh that guy went down instantly that charge attack okay I'm just gonna hold on grab the F hey okay so let's see come through here Okay, let's see... Boom! Boom. Stay down here. Charge up. Boom! Let's see, we'll come over here, boom, fire. Gotcha. You're down. I gotcha. Boom. <sighs> One life left. Okay. Back shot. Nice, took him out. Oh, we got an extra life. Okay, go back to the hunter. Go get the crow. Nice. Could have got an extra life by going in there. <laughs> Alright, so here comes the boss fight. So I think for the fight, I'm just going to use my charge shots on him seem to be working out the best. Nice, that worked. Can I try it again? Nice. Can I get him again? Buck has virtually every expensive Saturn <laughs> game there is. Except for Deli Soba Deluxe and Eiffel Home and Waltz. And those uh I think I think one of those land grissier games are like really getting up there in price too. And uh I think there was like another game that's like really expensive. Uh, stay away from this guy. Dead. All right, we're on our last credit, and then we'll go to the next game in the Sega Saturn Horizontal Shmup stream we got going on. Ah, off to a good start. Telesoba Deluxe is sorry. Yep. Yeah, I read about it. it. They only gave it out during, like, if you had to be, like, an audience member for the TV show. 
to get the, the disc. But I guess I guess it was like I guess it was like a, it was like a show like The Price Is Right. So like they had a lot of seasons. So I guess they have they have copies that exist. It's just who who still has their copy from the show from from, from uh, taping. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna charge up my thing here. Oh, that should have. Oh, it did. Glad I'm not a complete setter. <laughs> well, technically, I could get away with not collecting it because it's technically not a game that was released in stores. So that's my uh, that's my excuse for not buying it, but I'm probably gonna get it somewhere down the road. Let's put it that way. Not now, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, maybe not the next ten years. Somehow it's gonna it's gonna end up in my lap. I think it's gonna be one of those situations, and we got a game over. My max price would probably be like a thousand dollars or something. And I know the game goes for like 50, maybe like around there. Uh, big, ah. Alright, so we made it all the way up to that level. My big buy was the Chaos Flying Squadron. Sounds like you're more insane than me. I'm willing to pay 1000 2000 for a game. Well, see, the thing is, I'm not willing to pay for it right away. Because I could. I have better uses for to spend with the thousand dollars right now it's not video games uh, especially like especially five hundred dollars I wouldn't be dropping five hundred dollars on a video game right now maybe a console at five hundred maybe a console at five hundred but not right now all right so looks like we finished Thunder Force Gold well we failed this one all right so that is Thunder Force Gold Packs 1 and 2 that usually that took the majority of the night. So why don't we put it up to a poll? What game to play next? I'm gonna make a poll, guys. We're gonna make a poll. I like polls. I'm gonna do a poll. Next game. Metal black. Cotton two. Uh, I'll do X multiply less. Radius deluxe. Radius two. Set Goku blade. Alright, I'm gonna run the poll for. I'm gonna run the poll for five minutes. Now I'm gonna go run to the bathroom really quick. We're gonna let this poll run, and you guys are gonna watch the demo play. Thunder Force 4 while I go use the bath. I'll be right back.
so it looks like I got no votes on any game what to play next. So I guess I'm going to have to pick the game if it, if it runs out. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. So let's see, we got... We got Sengoku Blade. We got Darius 2. We got Gradius Deluxe. We got Cotton 2. We got Metal Black. Let's see, you know what? Metal Black is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll play Metal, Metal Black next. Metal Black is a pretty hard game. Uh, let's see. Gradius is good. Gradius is a tough game, though. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty tough. Sengoku Blade. You know what? I'm going to put my vote on Sengoku Blade. That's my vote. You guys could take part in the, the next game that you want to you want to see next. I sucked it up and ended up paying the 1,000 because I was just gonna keep, keep going up. Yeah, right. I think uh, Kill Flying Squadron is like two thousand dollars now. You 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 dropped it on it at the right time. Hey, I'm just curious. Have you, do you guys see a poll in the chat? I'm just curious because I, I put a poll up. Sydney, do you see a poll in the chat by any chance? There you go. You got one vote for Gradius Deluxe. Yep, okay. Alright, so if the poll is up and Gradius Deluxe wins, I, I just won't count the Sengoku Blade vote because I voted for that. So let's see, okay. Gradius Deluxe then. Oh, we got, we got one for Cotton 2. <laughs> we got one for Cotton 2. Uh-oh. We need a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker. Come on, guys. Who else is in chat? Get in the boat. We gotta break this. I could buy Super Tempo and try Deppy for that. Yeah. Alright, so it's either Gradius Deluxe or Cotton 2. Both, both go pretty... Actually, Cotton 2 is a pretty fast game. It's like a 20-minute game. Probably, probably blow through that really fast. I love this. I love this tune. You know what? Let's see. Let that pole go a little bit more. I think. I think Cotton Two is gonna win this one. Cotton Two might win. Okay, so we got a tie. Cotton 2 Gradius Deluxe and Sengoku played. So I'm going to take an executive decision and go for Cotton 2. And then we'll proceed with Gradius and then Sengoku played. So let's go. I'm going to go right to. I'm going to go change game out. So, oh, you would have voted Cotton 2. That's right, you're on a mobile device, right? So, Cotton 2 officially wins, then. Alright, so Cotton 2 will be the next game. And then I think we'll jump into Gradius afterwards. So I get to see some an actual Sega Saturn game. Just before we were playing Mega Drive ports. Oh snap, you know what that was saying right there? Hang on. One second. We need a we need a one megabyte cart. I have a four meg cart in the slot. I'll be right back. Let me go fix that.
Gotta use the Konami code? Yeah, right. Alright, let's just hope the, the cart got detected. I hope it did. I gotta reload my art. Yep, it took the cart. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Cotton 2 is the next game we're playing on the list. It is a cute em up. I do have Cotton Boomerang. But we're playing Cotton 2, because I played Cotton Boomerang. Cotton and Silk. Cotton 2, extra RAM found, hit start. So go to options. What do we got here in the options menu? Arcade. We'll do arcade mode. Do easy because I suck at these games. Vitality. Normal. Do normal. Left zero. Go through. Do three lives. So shot, catch, magic. <laughs> X Y Z does nothing. All right. I love that. All right. So. To game start, and here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Alright, I'm skipping that because I can't read Japanese for the life of me. So here we go. Stage one ready, go. Oh, this is. I got a mash A button. Fire. Nice. Eh, I got a mash A. Alright, so I gotta stay awake. Fire. Ice. Uh, I got killed. Got a weak point right there. He's a special on. He's a, he's a sp couple specials on him. Take him down in two seconds, not a problem. Boom, he's down. I got him. Sweet. <sighs> tea time. Okay, let's get those tea times. Pick up those tea things. I think that's actual tea that's fallen from the sky. Yeah. Bonus points. Stage two ready. Here we go. 
pick up things and throw them. I just remember that. Nice. Sweet. Cool. Jack-o-lantern. King Jack. King Jack-o-lantern. Oh, this guy. Alright, we'll use a, use a special on him. I'm running out of health here. Ugh, I died. So I got one more life. Ooh, good enough. So. so they say that Cotton Boomerang is a remake of Cotton 2. I think it's a sequel to Cotton 2, because I'm playing Cotton 2 right now, and I remember playing Cotton Boomerang just recently, and I don't remember this stage being in there. So, I mean, if it's supposed to be a remake, then I'd say it's a damn good remake, because, like, I don't remember that stage being in there. I got lucky and got Cotton 2 for, like, 70. Yep. I forgot what I paid for cop my copy of COD 2. I got it last year. Um, I think I got it for under 100 bucks, but because I got it on eBay, I think I got tax, so it came about to 100, I think. Then Boomerang, Boomerang, I paid full price for, but I sold a lot of my Sega CD stuff just to get it. So. It wasn't much of a, a loss. Like, I didn't have to... I didn't spend money. I sold stuff to get the money to buy it. And the only reason why I got it is because I had three games left in... Three, three shoot-em-ups to get in the shoot-em-up collection. So I, I, I picked it up. <laughs> I caved in. And then right after it... Actually, I remember... Because this was back in like February when this happened, I ha I I had to decide whether I wanted to get Cotton Boomerang or Steam Hearts or Image Fight and X Multiply. So I ended up going with Cotton Boomerang. I actually took a poll around my friends. I was like, "What should I get? Get Cotton Boomerang." So I went and got Cotton Boomerang. And of course, I finished it within like a weekend because it was, you know, you can finish it in like 20 minutes, but it's it's a hard game, very hard game. Got 120 for Steam Hearts. Yep. So then, of course, uh, I was like, I want to play Image Fight X Multiply, and then I picked that up for almost the same price. I think I paid like 100. I paid like 230 for for that. And then Steam Hearts, I paid like 250 for because you got lucky. Yeah, it's like two. Yep, I paid about 250 for it. I had to get it from Japan, and it was right before March when this virus stuff started. It actually happened as it was starting, and I was worried that they were gonna stop ship shipment from Japan. And sure enough, they did. But I got my game in time, so it worked out. But Steam Hearts was the last shoot em up that I needed to get for the collection. It was pretty decent. It's a pretty decent game. It's just, um. It's hentai. <laughs> it's a hentai shooter. Well, the shooter's not hentai, it's the cutscenes are all hentai. Sweet. Okay. Steam 
Hearts is hilarious. I love how wacky the J Japanese are. <laughs> yeah. Steam Hearts is pretty wacky. Tell me, have you ever played the Yakuken Special? I'm sure you have played the Yakuken Special. I'm sure every Saturn owner, if they're curious, has heard of the Yakuken Special. That was like one of the first games I wanted to play on the Saturn. Um, that and Elevator Action Returns. And I was like, oh, there's a strip rock paper scissors game. And I was like, count me in. I went to go check it out. Game cheats so much. It's not even funny. Oh, tea time. Sweet. Sadly, I haven't. Well, it's gained a lot of popularity. So, like, the price has gone up. It used to be like a five to ten dollar game. One elevator action, but it's two fifty now. Yeah, I was lucky when I got elevator action. I got that for like I got it on eight. I got it on Amazon. Back when you could buy games on Amazon, people would actually send you the game instead of scamming you. <laughs> I picked it up on Amazon. I paid like eighty bucks. It's a good good price. There's no spine card, but uh it was a good game. Yeah, Amazon's terrible now. It's like too ri yeah, too risky. And it's it's flooded with all sellers from Japan. And it's not like they're good sellers. Like they don't show a photo, so you can't you can't see the condition of the item. And you're you're paying eBay prices for the game. So you're just taking a huge risk every time. I've never, I never took the gamble and tried to buy on Amazon, but uh, I'd rather just do it on eBay. I'm gonna buy from Japan. I know a couple of sellers from Japan uh, that are good, except that like some of them you have to opt in for the very good shipping, like the EMS shipping. Well, now it would be DHL shipping because they didn't. Because airmail and, and EMS is like it won't sh it, they won't ship to the states. You gotta do it through DHL. But uh, I actually recommend DHL. Okay, got my GameCube ready. Oh, sweet, sweet bargain. Yeah, so yeah, we'll continue here. Ship in Japan right now is Garba. <laughs> yeah. But uh. I think I, I think I said on my last stream, um, I don't know if you were here, Sega, uh, I bought Mizubaku Adventure in auction. Paid, I think he won this, uh, I won an auction for like 80 bucks. And then I told the seller, alright, hey, it's like an $80 game, can you ship it EMS? I'll pay the extra shipping. I was like, sure, sure, sure. And I paid the extra shipping. He sent me the invoice. I paid it. And I was like, all right. And then eBay marked it shipped and he, with no tracking number. So I emailed the guy. I'm like, hey, I paid for the extra shipment here. Um, where's my tracking number? I said, oh, sorry, sorry. Here's the tracking number. So he gives me a tracking number. I go on the, I go on the EMS website. I put in the tracking number. It says, sorry, your tracking number can't be found. This is the tracking number that he put in on eBay. He didn't email me the tracking number. So, like, this is the... He tagged the tracking number on eBay to the transaction. So, you know, a week goes by or a week and a half. I emailed the dude. I'm like, hey, I bought this game from you. I opted in for the extra shipment. You gave me the tracking number. I see no active activity on this shipment. Did you send this out? Yes or no? And he was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry this happened to you. There must have been an accident. This is because of the accident. Accident. I'm sorry this was a thing. And I was like, accident? What accident? Did you ship the game at all? And he's like, oh, I refunded you the money. He never said that he shipped the game or not. So he's like, I refunded you the money. But like, if I didn't opt in for the extra shipment, the guy would have walked away with my 80 bucks. And I would have gotten screwed over. Cause like normally he would he ships stuff um 
through airmail and you can't supposedly you can't track it which i think is it may or may not be true but i think it is true because multiple sellers had sent stuff via airmail and they say oh it's not trackable it's like sending something through the mailbox through snail mail it's like ridiculously slow so it's like potluck if you get it or not when did you buy this this was back in 2016 so I missed out on it because the guy didn't ship the item. He didn't want to ship the game. So, but later on, I ended up scoring a copy for 250 from a U.S. seller. Or actually, not 250, 230. I ended up setting, ended up paying. So I have, I have Mizubaku Adventure. And like you say, yeah, it's like a $600 game. I believe you, man. Or that's if you could find it right now. I don't think anyone's selling that game. That's like Steam. It's like finding Steam Hearts on eBay. You can't find a copy of Steam Hearts, and it's like finding, uh, trying to find a copy of Trirish Deppy. You can't find Trirish Deppy. Super Tempo. That's kind of hard to find. And it's like, oh, well, I got the money. Can I buy it? And then like, no, because no one's selling it. It's like that sucks. That's kind of like. You know, it's kind of like a couple years ago, a Sharp X68000 computer, they were going for like $300, $500. And, you know, I said, oh, that's too expensive. But then, like, I, I, it was like out of my budget. But now, like, fast forward to now, I would like to get a Sharp X68000 for that cost. Nobody's selling them anymore. <laughs> it's like you gotta get them from Japan. Through like buy -y. and they want like a couple grand if it's in good condition and then other times you get it when they're in like junk condition they'll, they'll sell for like 300 500 but like you don't you don't know if it's gonna work or not so it's a gamble rip now you're making me think I should spend like 3,000 <laughs> finish my Saturn schmups before I can't yeah yeah. But at this point, I'll just say screw it with the Sharp X68000 computer. I'd rather just use an emulator, but that would have been, that would be a cool, like, system to own. Because that's like, that's like owning, that's kind of like between a 16-bit to 32-bit, like, console. Crap, I died. Not exactly Super Nintendo or Genesis, but not exactly Sega Saturn either. Never spent that much for a co yeah. Most I ever spent on a console was for Super Graphics. I think I spent like three fifty on that. And I only did it because well, actually no. Scratch that. No. Yeah, 350. 350. Uh, and that was for the Neo Geo. The Neo Geo AES. I paid like 350. Or I think I paid like 300. I think I got a, like a good. I got a deal off of it. It was the Neo Geo with uh, two controllers, two two like the official joystick controllers. And I think a game. He threw in Nam 1975. I pay like 350 altogether. It's a good deal. Varga, Varga convinced. Varga was with me at the time. Uh, we we're at that game store uh, that it happened, and uh, he convinced me to buy the Neo Geo. Somebody else was at that store that was probably gonna buy the the Neo Geo. And he's like, yo, just go get the, just get it before that guy buys it. And I was like, all right. So I went and bought it. Joke is I got the copy of Jack Brothers before the Virtual Boy. Never would have heard Oh, you got Jack Brothers before it went up? Nice. Good find there. My friend Varga, he's looking, he's the mod. He's, he's looking for 
Jack Brothers for Virtual Boy. I'm actually looking for Jack Brothers. I don't care if it's the Japanese version or the US version. I just want to play Jack Brothers on my Virtual Boy. That's like the one game that I'm missing on Virtual Boy that I, that I don't have. Like I have... I have Waterworld for the Virtual Boy. But I don't have Jack Brothers. And, uh, my Virtual Boy back there, it's the, uh, I got the AC adapter pack. A lot of people have the battery pack. But I got the, I got the AC adapter pack. Still don't have a Virtual Boy. <sighs> one day you'll get one, I'm sure. I don't think you're missing out one bit, but... It's worth playing, at least for um, the Wario game. Stage 6. Here we go. Ooh, spooky castle. Got 80% of the game. Uh, yeah, Virtual Boy is not a lot of games for that system. I think it was like 20. That's like the same amount of games for the Sega 32X. I have nearly every single Sega 32X game, with the exception of two baseball games for Spider-Man and T-Mac and Primal Rage. Those are the only games that I don't have on the 32X. I have Doom, I got Virtua Fighter, I got Cosmic Carnage, I have Tempo, I have Stellar Assault, which is called Sa Ch Shadow Squadron, I got the Blackthorn game. I got the Pitfall of the Mayan Adventure. Uh, I got the Star Wars game. I got Colibri. Yeah. It's an odd game. What else do I have on the 32X? Oh, uh, I got Metalhead. Metalhead's pretty decent. Um, I got the uh, the Motocross Championship game. Which is barely, could barely play that game. I got the Virtual Racing Deluxe. I got the Space Harrier and the Afterburner game. It's actually, really good ports, very close to the arcade. Colibri is like $200, no kidding? I haven't checked Colibri in a while. I got that game for like, maybe like $20. Loose card. I, 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 I don't really go for complete in box. Because they're, they're like Genesis cartridges. I go for them loose. Knuckles Chaos is a really good game for 32X. Very underrated. Everybody gives it shit because it's not a Sonic game. But it is a Sonic game. It's not Sonic. You're Knuckles. And you get all of his friends. Love it, Tempo. I have Tempo. Ugh. I never finished it. But I've played the sequel, uh, Super Tempo from Saturn. I finished that. Plays like a bonk game. Calibri, I I can't get past like a certain stage in the game. It's it reminds me too much of Echo the Dolphin, and it's made by the same people that did Echo the Dolphin. Except that you know you're not you're not a dolphin, you're a bird. Afterburner, Space Harrier. Yep, th yep, those versions are great. I love those versions of uh, Sega Ages arcade titles. Yep, oh, took care of that boss, no problem. Easy, easy peasy. I think I got one more boss fight. Tea time. Cool. Want Sega Ages outrun for the Saturn. Yeah, it took me... Yeah, I, I'm glad I, I picked up the, the version of Sega Ages Outrun that works on Model 2 Saturns. Um, there was a seller on eBay. He's like, I got the version that works on Model 2 Saturns. I was like, dude, hook me up. I wasn't paid the price. I don't care what he, what he priced it at. It's like, all right, I'll take it. As long as it was reasonable. It was, it was reasonably priced, but I, I went for it. And it works on my Model 2 Saturn, you know? I didn't want to get the original Saturn with the oval buttons. 
Power Drift's pretty good too. Uh, Fantasy Zone I like. Game's a nightmare to find. Just go with the old other version of it. Yeah. And apparently there's one. There's a second revision for Space Harrier as well. The only thing is, like, you can't tell what. Oh yeah, this is definitely the final boss. I'll take this person out, no problem. Yeah, so my version of Space Harrier, if we, you go to try to play it, it like pauses every two seconds, like like that, like how I'm showing you right now. And it's like slow-mo effect, and you can't, it's barely playable. I mean, you could try to play it, but it's just not, it, it wasn't meant to be played on Model 2 Saturn, you need a Model 1 Saturn, so. If I want to play an arcade perfect version of Space Harrier, I'll just simply whip out the 32X version. <laughs> this is pretty it's pretty decent. Or I or I play I whip out my PlayStation 3 and play the Genesis uh, collection. The Sonic Genesis collection, which includes it as a bonus. And I took care of the final boss, Cotton 2. Sweet. Nice. 99% of copies don't tell you what revision. Yeah. Cotton. This is the story text here. Also, did you know about the Dreamcast revisions? What about the Dreamcast revision? Oh, the, um, for Space Harrier? The five or so games on, they have new on the cover. You mean the, uh, is that the, the, the ones that are included on the Shenmue? Revisions. Second for revisions. Uh, no, I don't, actually. No, I'm not. I'm not aware. Front of the manual. Mm. Nope, I don't. Say new on them. Nope, didn't know about that. Very rumble boxing. Is it like the? Oh, you know what? I think I know you're talking about the ready rumble boxing. There was couple sports titles, right? They have like the orange label. It's like a circular logo. Like the Nintendo logo. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really collect Dreamcast. Hey, this is like the ending. Yeah, it's the ending. Dreamcast, one of your all-time faves. Ah, uh, never really got into the Dreamcast. I mean, I have the Sonic games, of course. You know, I really wanted to play Sonic Adventure when it first came out. I read it in the EGM magazines. And they kept teasing Sonic Adventure in the Dreamcast launch. And I actually went out and got it. So I played Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I was a little disappointed with 2 when it first came out. I thought there was going to be, like, more content in the game but it, there wasn't. Still think, I still think the second Sonic Adventure game is good. It's just a little disappointed that it didn't... It was supposed to be a stage where you're in a subway, but I... Um, according to, like, screenshots, old magazine shots, it was supposed to have that subway level, but I guess, I guess the person that wrote the article uh, mistook it for something else. Maybe it was supposed to be something else. Who knows? But yeah, so I had Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I had Evolution 
for it's like that JRPG. It was back when I didn't really know what a JRPG was, and I was like playing it. And I'm like, all right, this is fun and all, but when when am I gonna like go around and like free explore like Zelda? And I was like, nah, it's not those kinds of games. It's like Final Fantasy. Ah, like, uh. well, the shoot 'em ups on there. Um, I know Ikaruga's on there. I didn't. I I didn't really like back then. Like we we're talking about early 2000s. I didn't really. I didn't really know about shoot 'em ups as well. Like I knew, I knew the Marvel versus I knew the fighters were on there. Like Marvel versus Capcom were on there. Where down is it on Saturn? Uh, congratulations! All right, so it looks like that's the end of Cotton Two. So I'm gonna go change out the game. We have a choice. I'm actually gonna pick this one. We're gonna go to Gradius Deluxe Pack next. It's not on any other console. Quarter down. I gotta check that out. Alright, I'll be right back. We'll do a little sample of these two games. I don't think we're going to beat them both. How much did you pay for Shinrei, Taramaro, or Hyper Duel? Uh, Taramaro, 360. Hyper Duel, four, 400. 400. I got it at a discount for Hyper Duel. Border Down is, well, Border Down is less than that. Uh, like a $100 game, I guess. Maybe like a $200 game. What is border down? Let me look that up. Border down. Dreamcast. Oh, I think I've seen this title before. Horizontal Schmup. Looks pretty good. Sega Naomi. I think my friend Andrew's got this game. Alright. Gradius Deluxe Pack. Oh, let me just switch out the art. Where are you, Gradius? Gradius Deluxe Pack. Ooh. You're too big there, Gradius. Let's shrink you down. Twiggle Star Sprite's also on the Dreamcast. Yep, it's also on the Saturn as well. And it's on the Neo Geo. It actually originated on the Neo Geo. Pretty good game. Ooh, nice CG intro. Gradius. Well, yeah, both versions, yeah. You know what was also on the Dreamcast? We were just playing one of the games, Cotton. It was a Cotton game for the Dreamcast. It's pretty, uh, pretty expensive. I think it's like 200. And it's like the version of Cotton where it's like behind the ship view. Rainbow Cotton, yeah. And I think it's based off the Mega Drive Cotton where it's like behind the ship view. Have it? Nice. Sweet. Alright. I bought it a long time. Yep. Okay, so this this scene here looks like it's from Gradius 2, because I remember the, the first or second level of Gradius 2, you go through the fire. Been in the Dreamcast for the last 10 years. Nice. Been into the, I've been into the Saturn since 2005. Good 15 years been into it. Even though it came out 10 years before I got into uh, got into it. Nice. All right, so let's see what this Gradius Deluxe Pack is all about. So we got the original Gradius, and we got the Gradius 2. That's on here. I believe these are arcade ports. It's not into Japanese import stuff like 15 years ago, though. Yeah, same here. I was, I, I always, like, on the Saturn, I, I only went after, like, the U.S. stuff. Didn't know about the Japanese stuff. I just figured, oh, it's a, why play it in Japanese? It's just Japanese language. Why would you want to play a ja game that's in Japanese? 
Like, I didn't understand that concept one bit. Hey, it's my loading screen. It's my, uh, it's my stream loading screen right here. Gradius 2 is extremely difficult. Oh, yeah? You ever play Gradius Gaiden for PlayStation? That's a tough game. It's a very tough game. Internet educated me on what was out there. Downside is it educated everybody. So prices went insane. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep and yep. So it's funny, I actually have this um, this screen here where it says warming up now. Uh, at the beginning of my stream, if you notice, like I do like a Sega, like now loading, present instead of saying presenting by Sega, I say presented by King of Apoc, which is my my Twitch handle. Um, yeah, the countdown timer. Uh, so this is, I have a Konami variant when I'm doing a non-Sega game. I put that one up. It's based off of this countdown. I have year Kung Fu board that does that. I love the music. Yep. <laughs> it's not just Gradius who does it. Yeah. This is. I'm. I, I know it says press start, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it up because it's. It's good. I would. I would. I. Why does the game have this? Because it's freaking Gradius. <laughs> it's Konami. You know. I guess when you when you turn it on on the arcade, it would take a while to boot up. So that's probably why they had it. Do you have Einhander? Yes, I have the Japanese version of Einhander for PlayStation 1. Yep, I do have it. Awesome shmup. Yep, I agree. Great game. Game level 3 normal. We're going to do we're going to do Saturn easy cuz I suck at these shooters. Let's Let's do 7 7 lives. Screen or Oh, screen arcade. What's the difference between screen arcade arcade zoom full size oh that's pretty cool arcade full size arcade zoom we'll do full size stereo yep nice just to warm up the board yep exactly Cause back in the day old computers you didn't just power them on and they f you know did that you know you had to wait you gotta wait a long time. All right, so we'll go through Gradius really quick. We'll just see how far we can go, then we'll jump into Gradius two. But this is this is I don't I don't think we'll I don't think we'll finish them both because they're they're pretty hard games. I like going back to non SSD five minute wait time. <laughs> yeah, my computer is on a solid state drive and it. Turn it on. Snap the fingers. It's on. It's already at the Windows screen. And it asks me to log in. I remember back 10 years ago, I had a computer. A desktop computer. Don't ask why, because Windows 7 was out. I had Windows Vista. And I refused to get off of Vista. Because I, because it's a, it was always a pain in the ass to like upgrade an operating system back then. And I just didn't want to upgrade to Vista. I mean, upgrade to 7. And I was like, alright, I'm staying on my Vista. And every time, like, Vista would load up, it took forever just to get to the login screen. And then when I would go to 7, it would snap the fingers, you'd be on the login screen. Well, my next computer after the one I have for Vista was the current computer I have here that I built and I went right to Windows 10 and it is better than Windows 7. Now, a lot of people would argue Windows 7 is better than 10 because it doesn't spy on you. And I just say, well, who cares? Your smartphone spies on you. <laughs> like, it's a ton of other things that can spy on you. So I just I just go and get Windows 10. How they release Vista is I I'll, I'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I did that before some stuff I was used to. Couldn't be bothered to switch. Remember when the Internet Explorer was better? It crashed a lot. Switched to Firefox and that crashed a lot. 
And now we're on Google Chrome. Yep, I was I'm in the same I was in the same boat as you. Uh everybody's like, uh, don't use IE, use Firefox. Firefox is better, it's the best it's the best internet browser of all time. No, it's not. It's Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the best internet browser. It's just the best, I think, in my opinion. And then now Microsoft released the new Edge browser, and uh, it's not that good. <laughs> Honestly, it's not good at all. Like, just give up Microsoft. You, you, Google, Google out did you? So just give up. Be like Netscape Navigator. You know they gave up. Both pros and cons, yep. Speed up. My mom still use AOL for mail. I got news for you. Everybody that is a boomer, I don't mean to offend anyone who is a boomer, still uses AOL for their email. <laughs> they they use the same client, they double click, where they gotta go to the dial up just to sign into their mail. And it's just the truth. And I'm just like, why? Just use Gmail. I mean, I get it. Okay. I get it. You know, having your at AOL email account was, you know, pretty good. You could personalize it and all that fun stuff. When you signed in, you got welcome, you got mail. You know, you got you got your slingo, keyword slingo, and you know, you know when we were growing up as kids, we had uh, we had you know keyword Nick. You know, you get to go to Nickelodeon's website. You know, that was awesome. It's like, all right, if you don't have AOL, you you know, you're not cool. That's what Ni that's what Nickelodeon pretty much said. It's kind of like when uh, Alex Mack. You know, remember that TV show, Secret World of Alex Mack? She did a promo where you could win a Nintendo 64. Spot the dot. All you had to do is, like, um, you had to go to, She's like, alright, it's simple. Go get a game piece from Blockbuster Video. And then you could do... You could play Spot the Dot before I would go on, you know, get to watch uh, Alex Mack on SNCC. And the only downside is, you know, we didn't go to Blockbuster Video when we were little to get movies. We went to the, we went, we went to a mom and pop shop called Dollar Video. And what made Dollar Video so great? Thinking back when I was a kid, it's probably the only video store, like video rental store, at the time that had an adults-only section. USPS is faster than AOL dial-up. Good memories running from Blockbuster, yeah. Actually, I have a memory. Speaking of that, uh, <laughs> when I was little, um, you know, when you were little, you, you, you used to run around and have fun. Play games and stuff. You used to play hide-and-go-seek. We used to play hide-and-go-seek in the video store that we would go to. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I went to go find my sister in the uh, in the adult video section, and there was a guy in there. And then he like he like he like yelled at me. He's like, "Hey, kid, don't go in there. Do not go in there." And I was like, "Okay," and I just walked away. Cause there was, you know, who knows? It was a, it was a guy who wanted to go into the video, the, go into the adult video section of the store. I don't know what that guy wanted to do. I was playing hide go seek with my sister. That's all. <laughs> so anyway, that's Gradius One. We'll go over to Gradius Two next. But yeah, they had some video games in that video store, though. They had the uh, Genesis and Super Nintendo games. I think they had Sega CD as well. And I think you were able to rent consoles there. And that was fun, too. 
Games now get discounted for the first few months sometimes. Siren games were like $80 or so. You didn't get discounted. Ah. Forgot, where was I going with that Alex Mack talk? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyword Nickelodeon, yes. Yeah, yeah. AOL. Yeah, so, Slingo. Does anybody remember Slingo? It was like bingo, but instead of spelling bingo, you spelt Slingo. And it was with slot machines. I remember it was like the coolest thing ever. Sadly, retro gaming is mostly for older gamers that grew up with it. Eh, uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? We're a dying breed. Yeah, everybody's playing Fall Guys now. That's like the that's the hottest new game. So set it to easy. Go to seven players. I mean, Fall Guys looks like a fun game. I I haven't played it yet, but I yeah, and they get bored if within a month. Yep, probably will. For the latest thing. It was like when we were little, we had yo-yos. Remember the late 90s? We had freaking yo-yos. And y you got the, you know, you had the standard Duncan yo-yo. That, like, when you you tried to make it sleep, it wouldn't sleep. And then you had the yo-yo that, that lit up that was a little heavier. And that, y it was easier for it to sleep. Because in the inside, it had, like, these springs that like forced the yo-yo to go into sleep mode that was so cool it was yo-yos were the best in the late 90s the summer of 99 or summer 98 or yeah summer 99 it was the summer of 99 they we had yo-yos and we felt like we owned the world because of yo-yos just being awesome all right so we'll showcase gradius 2 I'll step start with the classic, and then before the yo-yos, we had Pogs in the mid '90s. Those were good. Yeah, Pogs, Pogs were awesome. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. Nope, doesn't work on this version. Works on the uh, PC Engine version and the NES version, I think. Konami code. Missile. Speeda. Uh, died. Collected pogs for a while. Nice. Speeda. Crap. Doing poorly here. Destroy them all. Speeda. Ah, uh, I died. Destroy them all. Speed it. I gotta save up for my missile. Missile. Nice. Right, what does this blue thing do? Oh, it's a smart bomb. I got you. I gotta get my double. Double. Ah, uh, the fire. Yeah, so we had yo-yos and we had Pokemon. You know, we would we would either play it for the Game Boy or we would play the trading cards. Trading card games. And you know, I remember the Charizard card used to fetch a high price of like a hundred bucks. It was like a rare card to get. And if you had the Charizard card like you were playing the game like you would you would just like annihilate your friends playing playing Pokemon the card game cuz like he would be like the best card at the time and then we would watch the show we just felt like badasses cuz it was Pokemon now me I can't even get I can't get into Pokemon 
but uh I know some friends of mine they 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 play Pokemon Go and it's like all right have fun when you know using up your data plan you know playing that game I know people from like my old job who cuz like my old job they would give out like work cell phones and those would be like iPhones and I used to work in the uh, in the IT department where I worked at I had control over to see who got an assigned an iPhone and what apps have been installed there would be like people that I'd work with that would download Pokemon Go on their work phones and use the data plan the work data plan to play the Pokemon Go game. And I, I of course, you know, I had to be the narc and report and be like, yo, you can't do that on your work phone. We got, we got to pay, you know, for this stuff, you know? Because, I, it, it, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to be a narc or anything, but, I, like, I, I had to, I had to say something because, you know, it was my job, you know? Can't see this and, you know, do nothing about it you know that's that's just not right but like yeah, this lady she just like went and used her work phone to download Pokemon Go and <laughs> like why would you why would you put yourself in jeopardy to do that you know all right that's Gradius Deluxe Pack I'm, I'm sorry I probably could have done a little bit better but uh gotta move it along oh snap we got a raid coming in here Emo Thyri, Emo, thanks for the raid of six. Welcome on in, Raiders. How we doing? Emma, as usual, I don't have to. I don't have to ask you what game you were playing. I know you're playing Final Fantasy 14 with your uh, your party. Hope it went good. How was your stream? Oh, and we got a resub. Emo Thyri, Emo, thank you for the, the the resub. You're on a three. You're on a three month streak. Good progress tonight. Ah, oh, ice. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome on in, Raiders. As usual, uh, I uh, I'm streaming a bunch of Japanese import shmups. This is like a Saturn tonight. We went through, I think, half of the stack. We only, I think, we got like three games left. Apoc in ten years will be playing Pokemon VR Go, walking around with the helmet on the streets. <laughs> You lost your shit on your teammate? Ah, oh, bummer. And then you made progress. Ah, sweet. Sweet. Hey, so, Ammo, since you just raided me, appreciate it. Um, you get to pick the next game. I'm gonna flash two games on the screen. Actually, three games on the screen. I want you to pick. So, we got Metal Black. We got Darius 2. Or... We got Sengoku Blade. What would you pick? Would we do? Would you do Metal Black? Darius Two. Metal Black. Metal Black is the first one. You want to do the first one? Sengo. Oh, you want to do Sengoku Blade? All right. Good choice. We'll we'll play Sengoku Blade next. So let me go pop in this game. This is actually a pretty good game. So I'll be right back. Sit tight. those white border covers yeah unfortunately you know when I was I was looking for this game I uh, I could only got get the uh, the SATA core version but uh yeah still the game you know I do like the original I do like the regular metal black uh, cover yeah I did get a good deal actually I got I got this bundled with the uh, layer section and that came actually in a, in a SATA core cover as well so I'm missing the uh, I'm missing the the regular variant. So yeah. All right. So we'll be playing Sengoku Blade next. Let me change the cover. 
We'll go over to the brows. Where are you, Mr. Sengoku Blade? Sengoku Blade, where are you? Where are you, Sengoku Blade? Right here. Get done. Do one more game for the night. Um, Varga, I got a whole stack to go. I still got to play. I still got to play Middle Black and Darius 2. And I got to play X Multiply. So we got three more games left to play. So we'll... We'll go through this one really fast. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Stop calling me crazy. Alright. So anyway. Sengoku Blade is the next game we're playing. I even have the statue. Nights in the Dreams is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, so you have a statue of Nights in the Dreams? It's pretty sweet. Sweet stuff. Nice. Light up the moon. Ooh, Varga, you're gonna miss this. This is a, this is an Atlas game. I know you. Varga loves his Atlas, by the way. It's an Atlas game. It's actually not an Atlas game. It's a Psycho shoot 'em up. So we're gonna play Psycho. Have that one too. Nice. Love Atlas. Yeah, Atlas is pretty good stuff. Good stuff. It's probably published on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a Psycho game. So, didn't get summer, summer assault. That's now crazy to find. Somer Assault. What is Somer Assault? Is that another uh, Sikio game? Ooh. Now it's been a while since I played this game, so this one I, I might I might go through the whole thing. Atlas Turbo Graphics game. Sweet. Okay, so option. Anything in here? We want four fighters. Yeah. Key config. Shot. Bomb. Shot. Is there rapid? We'll do rapid. Rapid. Okay. R is rapid. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I'll do monkey. We'll, we'll do monkey. Easy stuff. Game start. It's 100. It's a shmup. Ah, sweet. At least Jack Rose, I've given up on it. Okay, so we could play as the girl. Or we could play as the girl from... Uh... No, 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 no. I don't want to play as her. Okay, so there's a... The... the one of the girls in this game is from another game called Gunbird, and I think that's that girl. We're gonna play as the girl from Sengoku Blade. We're gonna play. We're gonna play the girl, on, the chick on the cover, because everybody likes the chick on the cover in this game. Here we go. Sweet. So I'm just gonna hold the R button down, because that's my rapid fire. Power up. Power up. Game's good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Psycho puts out some good shooters. Uh, I got the two Strikers 1945 games. Uh, I got the Gunbird. Gunbird's pretty good. Speaking of Gunbird, I actually have another game for PlayStation called Mobile Light Force. And <laughs> actually, let me pause the game. Hang on one second, guys. I want, I want to do a little show and tell really fast. Ignore that. <laughs> What's up? Never mind, it's in the other room. I was going to pull out a co my copy of Mobile Light Force and uh, 
just to show how ridiculous the cover of that game is. And it's just, it's it, it's yeah, just just look up on Google Mobile Light Force for PlayStation. It's <laughs> it's the most ridiculous looking cover ever, and it's Gunbird for PlayStation or or, or Saturn. But uh, yeah, Psycho put that one out. That's another good one. So yeah, two Strikers 1945 games. I have the uh. I have uh, Sonic Wings. They have Sonic Wings. That's a, that's another good one. Which is uh, Arrow Fighters. Pretty uh, pretty good game. Arrow Fighters. I remember playing that on the Neo Geo. Uh, two and three. Good stuff. But Sonic Wings on the Saturn. Yeah, it's really one Sonic Wings. Not that it's not that expensive, you know. It, it has gone up in value, like, like it, it. It was always when I first started collecting for the Saturn. It was always like a thirty, forty dollar game, but like it started recently going up to like eighty for some reason. And I was like, I mean, I, I eventually like waited patiently, and somebody sold it for forty, and I was like, all right, I'm taking it, one for it. And again, I only I only did it because I was very close to the end of my shmup collection. Pulley rule, pulley rule a lot. You need to play pulley ruler sometime. I did play pulley ruler. I was actually, uh, huh. I think it was like two or three weeks ago. I played it a couple weeks ago as a part of my, uh, I did it. I called it the random and weird games. I played that and I played, uh, hot blooded family. Yeah, I played it. It's a good game. It's very, very odd. Very odd game. Yeah, I love weird stuff too. Uh, oh, she's happy. She's happy we beat it. So, there was, uh, yeah, Hot Blooded Family is another good one, which is the Neketsu Otakio, whatever. I, I know it, but I know I said the name wrong. I just call it Hot Blooded Family. Uh, that game's pretty good. It's freaking weird. Like, like a whale, a whale eats you, and then the, you know, you, you fight stage one, and then you fall into like a water, uh, into a river or an ocean, and a whale eats you, and then the, the next stage, you're inside the whale, you're inside the, like stage two, you're inside of the whale. It's like a full beat em up stage, inside the whale, and then you fight the whale at the end as a boss like he, he blow he shoots you out of his blowhole in the top <laughs> and you fight him it's it's the most wackiest beat em up i've ever played it, it's more wacky than pulley ruler that's for sure pulley ruler is pretty wacky um but uh trying to think what else is weird on the Saturn. I mean, of course, Choaniki. Choaniki is another game that's out there. I, I would have put it on the on this list, except that it's extremely suggestive, and I don't know if I could I, I don't know if I could even stream that game on here. It's that it's that weird. That's why that's why you won't see sexy Parodius on the stream cuz I don't even know if I can even stream that game. Even though it doesn't meant it's not meant to be a hentai game, like there's this one scene at the end where this, this girl's just ass naked on the ground and she sits on somebody. Uh, let's see. That sounds like when you run through inside Stimpy's mouth, intense. <laughs> nice. Joe and Nikki's so annoying to get Ren. 
Is that even that expensive? Hardly see. Yeah, it's, it's it's usually like a fifty dollar game, but like people will pay a hundred bucks for a don't. And then some, you know, some people say don't even pay fifty bucks. You know, pay like the twenty or thirty bucks, and that's fine too. Oh snap! We got a boss fight. Oh oh my! The lady on the cover is well endowed. Hmm. Yes. Yes, Meister guy. Yes, people, uh, and I'm actually playing as her right now. Never see Chuniki less than 80, 60. Yep. Oh, this chick. Uh oh, we're fighting this chick. Guy shooting his hat at me. Oop, I got killed. Just get back up. I'm gonna use my bomb on this guy. Yeah, took care of it. Oop. Your companion, a ghost kitty. You know what? Hold on, what is that? Yeah, it is a ghost kitty. Snap, I didn't even realize that. Ghost kitty. Throw a bomb at this guy. He's pretty evil. Ooh, second form. Alright, use another, another one on him. Nice. Sweet, he's down. PSP shmups are getting very expensive. Yeah, I have a couple shmups for the PSP, and you could play, you could play a lot of them in Tate mode, and it, it's it's kind of it's kind of odd though, because it's like you can move with the joystick, but you you shoot with the D-pad at the same time. It's 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 pretty weird, or you could shoot with like the 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 square triangle circle buttons, but it's like. It's like you're gonna hold the PSP like, like you'll hold it like this, <laughs> like just to just to play your shooter, or you can just like you move with this, you move with the stick. Where am I? You move with the stick and you shoot with the buttons. I have an yeah, I have a PSP. Let me put this down here because I think they're gonna fall down. Okay. Show and tell segments on stream. They're always fun. You know, I would like to get a shoot 'em up for the Wonder Swan. Because the Wonder Swan has that vertical mode. That would be pretty cool. Like, I played Gunpei, uh, the game Gunpei for Wonder Swan. And that's a vert that has a vertical mode. And it's, it, it's pretty cool. Oh, I got killed. Love dicing knight for dicing knight from Wonder Hunt. Is that a shooter? Super rare. It's like a thousand dollars. Ah, doesn't buy that price. I, I. It sounds like it's a very sought after title. Yeah, I would like to get my hands on the Ghouls and Ghosts game for Wonder Swan. That would be pretty cool. It's the Ghouls and Ghosts game, and then there's this game called Buffers Evolution, which is like a platformer. And I think there's a Colono game out there for that system as well. I like to get all three. It's like a developer game made in small quantities. Ah. Uh. Mm. Up or down? 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 We're going down. We're going down. Down. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Maestro guy. We're going down. Hmm. Shoot. 
this dude. See what he's all about. Ah, oh, snap. This black hole. Create a diversion. Get my power ups back. So it looks like this game has like multiple branching paths because it asked me to go up or down. So that'd be cool to see if there's like an alternate ending. Get the B there. Gosh, so late in Europe. Need to wind down? Ah. Hey, no pressure, man. Game over? Yep. Opportunity. Oh, snap. Now we're... Okay. Now we're at the part of the... We're at the part of the game where if I get game over and continue, it'll restart the stage. So I, that that's, that's like the thing with like most Psycho shooters. Um... Like in the beginning, if you continue, you'll uh, you'll uh, continue where you left off. Now we're at the state of the game where if we continue, it'll restart the stage. So this playthrough may take a little bit of take a little bit of time. Power up. Blow that guy up. Sweet. Let's get a bomb. Some bone arrow dudes. Here's my bomb. Too many bombs. Uh, bullets on screen. Two more bombs. Extra. More extra life. Oh, sweet, what is this? Bomb. Sweet. Extra form. Another bomb. Get him. Nice, we beat it. Cool. Did it. Good, uh, the good thing about the Japanese Saturn disc is rarely, is rarely, really, yeah, there's rarely bad condition desk. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, I think I think the reason because of that is we get uh, the Japanese discs come in the regular jewel cases, as opposed to the American Saturn jewel cases come in those big cases you have all that extra space so if you're like moving the games in transit they'll pop out of the uh, the spindle the tray a little bit easier and they get the disc can get very messed up very fast you'd be surprised oh yeah yep I've had a game I've had several games shipped to me uh, Sega CD and uh, Saturn that would just pop out of the tray loose and either get scratched up or they'll you know they'll show up at your door you, you open it up you shine it through life light and you get a bunch of pinholes gotta keep that foam to keep them in place hey, exactly I mean another good way is to get a bubble wrap piece of bubble wrap and just put it in between the case 
It's that simple, you know, just do that, you know, if you can't have the foam there. But no, you'll you'll just have, you know, some sellers will just you know, just leave it as is and then the case shows up at your house broken. Oh sweet. Hey, we saved the girl. Since PS4, any pressure in the middle of the case dislodges it. Yeah, even when the di even when it's sealed, it does that too. Did I just beat the game? This looks like an ending. Yeah, she's smiling. Hey, she's hugging her. You know, one time I bought a copy of Wild Woody for the Sega CD. I don't have it anymore. I sold it since. Uh, on eBay, paid, no joke, like 80 bucks. The seller showed, it showed, yep, I beat the game. It showed on the... <laughs> The seller's like, all right, Wild Woody, completing box. It showed the manual, the disc, and the case. And it was completed. And I paid them, I paid it. It got sent to me in a bubble mailer. And inside the bubble mailer, it was the game manual, like, folded up. Oh. Pretend you didn't see that. Anyway. There, it was a, a, a game folded up, and you know the manual was like folded up, and uh, and uh, into the you know it was like rolled up, and uh, the disc was inside of a PS4 case, and uh, they didn't give me a Sega CD case. I like called them out. I'm like, hey. Um, you sent me a game. I, it, it, you didn't send me what was pictured here. Oh, we could send you a Sega, send you a, a, a CD case. And I was like, sure, send me the case. So they gave me the case, and it didn't have the backer. I'm like, hey guys, uh, I paid full retail for this. Where's the backer? Oh, I'm sorry, there's no backer. Oh, okay. Well, can you give me a partial refund then? And they're like, sure, sure. And they gave me a partial refund. So I ended up getting the game for like. 40 bucks out of it, but like, it's still a pain in the ass. I was like, hey, I wanted, you know, I wanted the game complete. <laughs> so then I sold the game recently and whatever. Alright, so it looks like I beat a game, another game called uh, Sengoku Blade. We finished it. So now we have. Did they not get it? It matters. No, they, they. I think they were just a bunch of mom and pop, like, video game stores. They, they didn't know. They were just, you know, hey, as long as he got the game, you know, it's all that matters. So we got three games left on the, the chart. On the roster. So we got uh, Metal Black. Darius 2. And X Multiply. Pick. 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 What game should we play? Got three more left on the roster. One image fight. It's like... 300 bucks. Yeah. Well, image. Well, we wouldn't be playing image fight. We'd be playing X multiply. This is a horizontal schmuck. But you know, I'll tell you what. I'll pick this one. We'll do Darius 2 because I said in the title that we will be playing Darius 2. And I would feel bad if we didn't play Darius 2 tonight. So I'm going to jump in Darius 2 next. You gotta go to bed? Eh, no problem, man. I know it's late over there. It's late over here, too. Well, have a good night, man. Thank you for coming out to my stream. I appreciate it. We'll have more of the... We'll, there will be more Saturn in the future on this channel. So, you know where to come. You know where to come to for more Saturn stuff.
So have a good night, man. Appreciate it. So we're jumping into hardly anyone stream Sat. Yeah, there's a couple people that stream Saturn I've seen, uh, but they're not English speakers. They're like Spanish speaking. Uh, I actually, I actually followed this one guy. Um, um, he streams during the day though, but it, it, it's all in Spanish. But uh, I, I watch his stuff. His stuff's pretty good. I forgot who he, what he, who he's, he's called. Let me, let me look at my follower, my follow list real fast. Let's see if I can pull him out. Go to, go to settings. Channels, videos. Where's my follow list? Oh, action! No, 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 I gotta go to back to Twitch. Go to following. So the channels. What's his name? What's his name? I just want to pull his name. Okay, this guy. I'll share it in the chat. This guy. I follow this dude. He actually streams Saturn. It's all in Spanish, though. It's actually pretty good. So, uh, if you you just want to take a look at gameplay footage, he he, he streams Saturn. He's pretty good too, but it's all it's all in Spanish, so that's the only problem. Okay, so options, game level, easy, AC shot, B is bomb, zoom in, L and R, scores X Y Z. So yeah, the, the thing about the mechanic, the mechanics in this game, uh is Darius when it got released in arcades it came on three screens um this is a port of the arcade version so <laughs> we're not on three screens they can't do three screens so we could you'll see I'm gonna go right in right now it's it's a super wide letterbox format so we could like zoom in the screen to like get around this but uh Reactions on the Raider. The Radar. Code C30. Darius Burt's Arcade. I always wanted to play one. Funk Whoa, funky. Sing along, guys. Third and fourth thrust engine. Ignition. Main engine increased energy level. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Two, one... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so this game is presented in a ultra wide letterbox format because it's supposed to be presented in three screens. We can't do the three screens, so we have to do this extra zoomed out letterbox. We could zoom in to make it look like this, but we have this awful pan and scan effect. So if you want to see this, the, the sprites, we, we just have to stay on the left side of the screen like this. It just looks like everything's big. It's like we're watching a, a, a an old James Bond movie on a CBS Fox videotape. You want to talk about horrible pan and scan effects, you know, just go watch a, one of those VHS tapes. So we'll do a letterbox. It's a little bit better. So I don't think we're gonna beat this game. This is just a, this is kind of a uh, like a novelty, you know, way of playing the game. I think. Press start if the timer reaches zero. No, no problem. We get to, we get to be treated to the great talented works of the Taito's uh, house band Zuntata. Is that a power? -up? That's not a power up. I thought that was like. It's not a power up. Dead. A little funky. Alright, tell you what. I'll do an ABC start. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try again. Let's see. Rapid, one tenth of a second. Half a second. Do one thirty of a second. That'd be better. Game start. Going alive soon. Have no idea what's 
how much content is on this disc. can make the screen go away. That's pretty neat. Saturn shmups reach 1k. It'll probably be G-Vector or Mizubaku or Hyper Drill. Now, would you consider G-Vector... I'm going to turn down the, the rapid rate. Let's we'll go back to 110. Would you consider G-Vector a shoot -em up Because I originally, like excluded G vector from the shoot 'em up list. And then when I finished when I got my last shooter which was Steam Hearts, I was like, "All right, as an added bonus, I'll pick up G vector." Cuz I was thinking, "All right, it's technically a shoot 'em up, but it's not a 2D shoot 'em up. It's not a it's not a vertical, it's not a horizontal. It's a 3D shooter." Kind of like Panzer Dragon. It's like 500 600 I forgot how much I paid. I think I paid like 180 for that one. I got that. That was fortunate because that was that was a that was a game like right as the 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 virus stuff started happening. That game is hard, by the way. G Vector, very hard, very difficult. To shoot him up. Um, good luck. You know, if you ever were to play that game, good luck finishing the first stage. You know, good luck getting to the boss fight, even. Like, as <laughs> hard game. Now, speaking of Darius, uh, recently the on the the Genesis Mini, they released uh, Darius One. On the the Genesis Mini, I actually played it. It's actually pretty, pretty good. Huge warning! Huge battleship. Code number CC30 is coming. Boom! Right, huge battleship's coming, but I still got okay. So last time, I had to face this guy right here. I guess this is the huge battleship. Throw a bomb on this guy. Throw another bomb on him. Uh, yeah, hit start. Can we just throw a stupid bomb on him? Nice, killed him. Done. Game is rarer than Hyper Duel. A zone is over. Okay. I guess we could go either to B zone or C zone. Let's go to the C zone. C zone may look better. Now, I'm horrible at Darius games. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot to change the game title. Snap. Properties. Like six minutes into the game, I forgot to do this. Okay, so where is it? Darius 2. Bring that over. Forgot to change the title. Like, look at my chat. I'm like, oh, we're not playing Sengoku Blade. <laughs> Better seen a few copies of it. One copy has been six fifty. Yeah, I will, don't don't pay six fifty for that. Wait, for, wait for it to come down to like the two hundred again, and just like save up when you're ready. I would say, if you really want to get that game. But I'll I'll be honest with you. Like, if you are dead on, like you want to play the game, like. Be prepared. Dude, that game is like really hard. Like it's not a it's not a walk in the park. Like you may you may look at a, a playthrough on YouTube and it may say that it's 20 minutes long. It's <laughs> with that added di with that difficulty, you you know you're trying to like go through the whole thing. You're you're just you're just gonna get stuck over and over again on the first stage. And then when you get past the first stage, you're gonna get stuck on the second stage. Third stage you'll go through smoothly though, because it's e the third stage is the easiest. But there's this one stage where you have to go through like a tunnel, and you just get your ass mauled every time because you don't know who's shooting at you. And then there's no there's no way to dodge the bullets. Kind of like this tunnel right that I'm in right now. 
This tunnel is actually pretty easy. Going through it. Yeah. Boom. Last credit. Sounds like a game to play in small bursts before you get too angry. Yep. You got it. It, it. The graphics are pretty good, though. Pretty decent. Um, reminds me of, like, a Panzer. Like, at first, it reminds you of a Panzer Dragoon game. Because uh, it has, like, the lock-on before you fire sort of deal. But, uh... You'll find out instantly that it's not Panzer Dragoon. And it's, like, its own deal. Like, some people compare it to, like, Star Fox. And it's not Star Fox. But yeah. Yep. Ah, game over. Alright, so it looks like this will bring us to the end of Darius 2. But I know the perfect game to jump into. Metal Black, the unofficial sequel to Darius. So we'll jump into this next. And then we got our last game right after it, which is X Multiply, which will be the final game. So Metal Black, we'll go through, we'll do like, you know, we'll do like, finish the, we'll just do like a, whatever credits on here. And then X Multiply will go until I'm ready to call the stream. So we got two more shoot 'em ups, we're almost there. So I'm gonna go change out the game, I'll be right back. Oh, I guess I'll wait till he's done. <laughs> we got ways to go. Alright, so Metal Black. Let's change the cover art. Where's the cover? Oh, I got a host? Who's the host? Varga host. Varga, thanks for the host. Appreciate the support, buddy. Properties. Where's the me Where's my Metal Black title? Middle black, right here. Done. Boom. Metal black, right here. Here goes nothing. Yeah, so we're on the last two games of the night. Metal black. Oop. The hell just. Whoa. I thought the game just like crashed there for a second there. I was like, what the hell happened? It just like fro No, it didn't crash. I thought it did, but it didn't. Whoa. Alright. Whatever. Project Gun Frontier 2. This is actually. Alright, so this is the sequel to Gun Frontier. If you were around during my vertical shmup um, stream. We played a game called Gun Frontier. This is the sequel to Gun Frontier, and it's actually the unofficial sequel to Darius. So, it's it's a sequel to two different games. It's weird. It's got some pretty cool uh, graphics and effects, like these these weird zooming and scaling that you see here. The beam was made was uh something about the beam. Let's just read off the story text. 
New alone. Top secret. Eyes only. Copy of one. Gun, Gun Frontier is a game I don't really want to pay 200 for. Yeah. It's it's one of those games you just have to take a plunge for. Now, I like this effect. This is a guy running down the stairs rapidly. And he comes out. Some cool effects. The earth died, and it was about to enter upon silence times. I love these wireframe graphics. <laughs> so much zooming and scaling that I could... Too much zooming and scaling that we could handle here. Metal. Black. Metal black. So this is another uh, Taito game done by Zuntata. Taito's house band. So it's some good stuff right here. Let's go to options. We're going to play on easy. We're going to make our stock the max, of course. A is shot. B is beam. C is shot. Okay. So wish me luck because this game is freaking hard. I need a lot, of, lots of good luck. I just want to get up to like stage five, which has like the best sound. Here we go. It's got a great, it's got an amazing soundtrack. So round one, down to earth. Born to be free. Right, so we collect these little power ups. Oh. Okay, forget that happened. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. Yep, first first enemy in the game kills me because I'm not prepared. Cool. Born to be free. Nice. Shoot this ship. I'm just gonna hold my gun down. Yeah, get these little. Uh, it's little uh, power-ups here that increase our ship power, which will help. Will help us a lot. Yeah, it's an aircraft. Oh, that killed. Me. That killed me. I thought that was. I thought it was a backdrop, but I guess it wasn't. Put these power ups here. I guess I gotta shoot this dude before he kills me. Uh, grab one of those. Hoppity frogs. There's frogs in this game. You gotta shoot. <laughs> gotta shoot all those frogs. Why are there frogs in this game? They're not frogs. They're like robots. Amazing graphics. Amazing random graphics. Okay, visitor. Here's my, uh, my special attack here. Oh, I got killed. Last life. I think it's like three. Boom. 
Ooh, I think I got him. Sweet. Nice, got him. This part get this part's cool right here. Every time you every time you kill a boss, it like turns into like the globe. It's pretty sick. Love to know how many copies of USA Magical Chase came out. Yeah, that'd be interesting to know too, cause that's like a thousand dollar game, right? Bonus stage over. Bonus stage one override. What do I do? All right, so I gotta blow that thing up. With like a lock on. Like three, three thousand shit. That's crazy. Boom, shoot that guy. Bring him down. One more. Cool. Four. One more. Shoot that guy. Boom. I think I got another one. Nice. I love those bonus stages. Give you like a like sort of like a mini first person shooter. Three thousand. Oh, and it just cuts to the next stage. Round two, cry for the moon. Oh, I died. Damn. Ooh, scary. Oh, I keep crashing into these guys, taking so much damage. This is one of the harder shoot em ups for sure. You can't control the speed of your ship, but like best you could do is just hold the shot button down and just move around the right direction. Ah, dead. Two credits. Okay, and if I plugged into the second player, I, could, I get an extra five. That's the thing about these Taito games. The, the, Taito, the early Taito arcade games ported to Saturn. What you can do... As you're about to get game over on your last credit, you can just plug in your controller to the second port and hit start. You can take over the second player's uh, credits, get extra credits. Born to be free, born to be free, cry for the moon. Those are Japanese song titles. First was used for Eat Man 98. Second was used for Japanese X Men. Japanese 90s X Men. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, um, no, th these, the, uh, the tracks came, were composed by, uh, Taito's house band, Varga, um, Zuntata. You remember when we were at MAGFest? Um, and that guy, there was that, that really obnoxious guy. I call him obnoxious because we were at his table and I was like, ooh, Zuntata. It was like a mini disc and I like looked at it. It was just lying there and I picked it up and he was like, don't touch that, man. That's over $100. Remember that guy? That was the, that was Zuntata. That, that's, uh, that's Taito's house band. And the guy was like a jerk to me because like I was, I showed interest in the Zuntata interview mini disc that he had there I meant they probably bought borrowed the titles with some Japanese meanings behind the names ah yeah but yeah Varga you, you know what I'm talking about that that guy from MAGFest that, 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 that was such a jerk 
He's like, it's over a hundred dollars. You, you can't touch that, man. And I was like, all right. Well, if it's under over a hundred dollars and you don't want to touch it, why don't you just get like a display case or something, or or, or a sign that says "Don't touch," you know? Like, you know, I would have bought it. Like, if and then he was like, "Oh, there's no music on it. It's just a bunch of interviews." And I was like, "All right, why are you selling it? Are you just like trying to show it off or something?" There's a lot of jerks at Magfest. No idea. Yeah. Yeah, one more credit after this. Well, not exactly. I could just I could quickly run over to the TV and hook up a second controller. That's what I'm probably gonna do. Blew up. Okay, so last credit over here. Boom. one more on this guy this game is so freaking weird like look at the background it's like these colored sun like drawings like you're in space and you got drawings like in crayon crayon continue all right hang on one second Tentative 2, what's up, man? I just failed running over to the Saturn to change the controller ports. Hang on one second. Let me go change it back. What is this? Okay, so this is Metal Black for the Sega Saturn. It is made by Taito. It's a horizontal shmup. I just got game over. I like, used up all my credits. And, uh, never heard? Yeah, it's really hard. Um, what I was attempting to do when I ran back there, I was swapping the controller ports with one and two. And I ran out of time. By the time I ran back, I was like, where's my controller? And I, like, slipped and was right here the whole time. So I was like, ah. So, okay. So that's Metal Black. I guess we'll go to the last game of the evening, which is X Multiply. And we'll play this until we get sick of it. This will be the last game of the night. I'll be right back. Yep. All right. So we're on the last shoot 'em up of the night. X multiply. Um. Let me change out the art. Properties. Where are you? There you are. Xing. Extend you a little bit. Boom. Irem. Sega Saturn shirt too. Yep, exactly. All right, so we played Image Fight the last time when I did the vertical shmups. So now we're playing. Since this is horizontal shmup night, we're gonna play X Multiply, and this game is freaking hard. So wish me luck. Wish me tons of luck. It's a hard game, and I think they give us infinite credits, and it's got good music too.
option. Game level, easy. X multiply, let's say. Do five. Do five rest. Go exit. It's got a good soundtrack, too. Alright, start it up. Here we go. I like Irem. Yeah, Irem's good. Uh, Ninja Spirit. They did Ninja Spirit. That's a good game. Alright, so Ninja Spirit. Uh, did a couple other games that were good as well. Pick up the blue. Alright, now these guys are... Oh, I died. You've seen the X-Men Japanese intro, right? No, I haven't, Varga. I gotta check it out later. Looks like the, uh... Now, if you notice that the, the, the screen is cut off on the bottom, it's, it's, it's showing that on my uh, screen as well. I think there's a way to... I think there's a way to, like, move that no, there is no way. Yeah, it's a hard one. <laughs> it gets it gets hard. Like in the beginning it's not so hard. It's pretty easy. Yeah, good stuff. Nice, get these eyeballs out of the way. What do we got now? Oh, this boss. Alright, I'll just stay right here. I think I'll get him. Oh, nice. I got him. Sweet. Just came from a friend's meeting. That's why I'm late. Oh, no worries. You don't have to be... Yeah, it's alright to be late. There's no, no need. Come and go. Please, it's all good. I have no problems with that. Hope the meeting went well your friend though now this level is a pain I think you like because like it's, it's one of those auto scroll they're all auto scrollers but this one like you have to like scroll around a ship like two times it's one of these kinds of stages so what is this What games did you enjoy the most tonight? Let's see. I gotta say, let's see. We played. We played this whole entire stack tonight. We did. Uh, let's see. We did Muddle Black. You were there for that. We did. Gar we did Darius Two, which was more like a novelty because Darius Two wasn't so good. I actually really like this game the most. This is Sengoku played. I like this was. This was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um. Gradius Deluxe back, uh, I just, like, we just went through it real quick just to show it off. It wasn't too exciting. Cotton 2 was fun. I love Cotton 2. Cotton 2 was a great game. We played through the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Thunder Force Gold Pack 1, we got through Thunder Force 3. Thunder Force 3 was pretty good. And then we, we played, uh, Thunder Force 4 off of the Gold Pack number 2. Uh, we didn't finish it. We got to we got up to the metal squad, the the really good rock and tune. Oh yeah, I bet you did like that one. <laughs> I know you're talking about. I talk about Sengoku Blade, huh? Yeah, I love the Sengoku Blade. I'm sure, everybody loves Sengoku Blade. So now we're on the last game of the night. X multiply. And it is a horror. It is a tough game. Now this. This stage isn't so tough, but uh, it's it's probably gonna get harder. 
knocks on wood, we do all right. Pick up the yellow. So now we go around again. Oh. It's like it, this game has like this weird mechanic where you like you shoot with B, but you gotta you move around this like tentacle thing that like shoots for you. But so you you could like control where it goes with the the controller. Like if you ever play that game Soul Feast or Soul Dees, it's the same kind of control scheme. All right, I think we're on the boss. Nice, got him. All right, cool, we beat the second level. Thankfully, we did. Stage two cleared, stage bonus. Nice, thanks for the GG's, man, appreciate it. Player one ready. All right, if I remember correctly, is this level hard? I believe one of them gets hard. They 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 start to get hard when you get killed, and it has like the this game sort of has like that Gradius effect where if like you once you get killed you lose all your power ups, and when you lose all your power ups, the game just falls apart and gets like really hard. So just like Gradius, it's the same way. This guy is this guy a boss fight? No, he's not. He's just he's just for sure right now. Oh snap! Okay, what now? The screen just went dark for whatever reason. Okay, I think I remember this stage. I think I think this is where like the whole stage like moves around. Oh, it's a worm. Oh, I died. Uh-oh. Crap. I died. So now the game's going to get harder. Nice effect with the worm. Yeah. All right. Is the red give me the worm? Does it give me the... Yep. It brings this guy back. Nice. Oh, I died. All right. Fortunately, I think every time you, you, get, you, you get continue, it... it leaves you right where you got killed so that's a good thing and a bad thing put together and we missed the worm thing dead nice there it is dead game over come on give me the continue show me the continue yes I like to continue where does it drop me off player yep drops me off here all right I think we can get past this worm guy just gotta be careful oh okay yeah you could control the uh, LNR controls the the HUD heads-up display that's weird. Irem did a lot of uh, that kind of stuff. If you ever played the uh, the R types for the uh, the PlayStation, you could control the HUD. All right, can I just kill this guy? Can I just kill him? Nah. All right, I need to get that red thing and just not stop messing around. I was about to say something about that. Oh, it's like I got killed. 
Did it just kill me? Because I hit. Died. Uh, here we go again. So this is a hard game. If you ever played Image Fight, it's made by the same makers, Irem. Image Fight is ridiculously hard. And X, X multiplies is still no joke. It's pretty, it's pretty tough. Oh, cool. I, I beat that guy, finally. Right, so I just gotta be careful the rest of the stage. Get that yellow power up in there. Irem also made Metal Storm and Holy Diver. Yep. Yep, that's Irem for you. Yeah, so Varga, this is the last game of the night, FYI. Just give me a head up. Give me the heads up. We're on the third stage of I don't know, like seven. I don't know. I don't know if we'll. I don't know if we'll finish this game tonight, but we'll certainly try to go the furthest. Oh, I died. Oh, it drops me off here, so I can't get that. I can't get that thing. Appreciate the plan pre-planned raid. Almost five hour stream. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I died. Game over. <laughs> I'll keep going. I we're, we're, I'm gonna play this until I get sick and tired of it. That's 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 the rule. Probably, I probably won't go any, I won't go longer than 3 a.m. It's 2 a.m. right now, so I'll probably give it another hour tops. But, uh, I, there is a level where it, it just gets very boring and repetitive, and when I get to that point, I'll know when. <laughs> yeah, no pro. yeah, no biggie, yep. Yeah. This, this game, I, I, I definitely wanted to get to this game, though. I have, uh, 10 minutes to the 5 hour mark. Nice. That's not the longest I ever gone streaming, by the way. The longest I ever did was like, it was on my birthday. Actually, yeah, it was on my birthday. I did five. It was seven hours, fifty minutes, almost eight. That was the furthest I ever streamed. And I almost, I, I almost, uh, I almost called it like two hours before, but then I got raided. <laughs> I got raided by like fifteen people. And they all wished me happy birthday. <laughs> and I was like, alright, I'll continue. <laughs> so I kept it going. It was fun. Yeah, like they, they came from a Street Fighter. Uh, they were playing a. They were, they were, uh, it was a Street Fighter uh, stream. And. Uh, no, there was no. Uh, actually, yeah, there was a raid tonight, but like. Um, I was talking about. Um, beginning of the month that it was my birthday on on the the 4th of august so i did a birthday stream and uh i went to like it went to like from like uh 8 a.m to like 2 a.m and i was about to call it then my friend came in and raided me with 15 people and they all wished me a happy birthday and like they did like a gift sub <laughs> the, the one guy gave me a gift sub and um it was it was it was nice yeah so then I was like, alright, I'll stick around with stream a little bit longer. And they're like, yeah, we were playing Street Fighter on the other stream. I'm like, oh, Street Fighter. And you know what I'll do? Let's play Let's play a good Street Fighter game. I was playing Saturn. I whipped out Street Fighter Alpha 3 for the Saturn, which is like a really expensive game. And, uh, and it's really good. And it's not and it's not good because it's expensive. It's just good because it's really, it's like Street Fighter. So I put that on. They all went crazy. I'm like, oh, Street Fighter Alpha. And I played through the whole game and they were like, they were, they they really appreciate it because they they were they were in the fighting games and stuff so it was pretty cool. Street Fighter Alpha Three, your favorite? Yep. Yep. Okay, so I killed those guys. Let me just go over and kill these guys. Oh, I crashed into the wall. You gotta be kidding me. I almost, I almost did that. All right, so at least we know better to get the enemies on the left side of the screen first. Ah, 
the left side of the screen. That sucks. All right. Let's see. Come up. Oh, come up here. Died. Game over. Ah, don't you game over me. I'll, I'll beat you. I'll beat you, game. Player one, ready. Ah, crap. I wish there was a way to slow down my ship. That would uh, that would probably be worth it. No, it's like move around and just hold my shoot button. Watch these blue lasers. Nice, got him. All right, that took like 20 tries, but I finally got him. So that's good stuff. Stage three cleared. Stage bonus three thirty thousand. Stage one ready. All right, I remember this was the level where the stage like moves around like the ceiling and the floor. It's crazy. How many stages? You know, that's a good question, Varga. Let me check. Let me check. How many stages is this? Uh, X multiply. How many stages? Seven stages in this game. Okay, so we're on stage four. <laughs> yeah, we're on stage four. And... <laughs> Stage four. Yeah, good luck with that. Stage four. <laughs> Some crazy, crazy nonsense right there. <laughs> oh, man. Fun stuff. Fun, 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 fun. All right. <laughs> Continue. Oh. Yeah, but if you're after like shoot 'em ups, this is definitely something. This this compilation right here is is perfect. Uh, has horizontal shoot 'em up and it has vertical shmup. This image fight is 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 a pretty good shooter. It's freaking hard. Oh sweet, I just survived that. How the hell did I survive that? <laughs> How the hell am I still surviving right now? This is crazy. All right, so I'll go this way. <clears throat> I died. I died. <clears throat> All right, where does it put me now? Puts me here. <clears throat> yeah, now I don't have that stupid worm thing. There it is. Nice. Sweet. Ah, died. Yeah, this gets rough. Stay right here. Boom. Shot that up. I meant to get that yellow power up. Some crazy nonsense. Nothing. 
Nice. Okay, get- oh! Game- don't you game over me, game. It's not over yet. Stage 4. We, we gotta get up to at least stage 7 here. Player 1 ready. Nice. Alright. Come down here. Pick that up. Sweet. Nice. Okay, so I guess I gotta shoot where the yellow is. Okay, cool. Nice. Get the blue. Ah, uh, nice. Missile. Sweet missile. Ah, died. It sucks. Stupid. I ran right into that bullet. Alright, player one ready. Take the yellow out. Uh, come up here. Right here. Perfect. Okay, cool. I'll go right around. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Get up. Get up here. Blew it. Cool. <sighs> Stupid yellow came out of nowhere. <coughs> yellow circles. Okay, yeah. So this is what I was saying earlier. This game has that Gradius effect. I had, like, my ship powered up to the max before. And now that I lost the power-ups, getting... Getting back my power-ups is going to be rough. This tentacle theme thing seems to work against the enemies, the bullets, etc. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Let's go grab that. Cool. Alright, we're almost there. What? Uh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Is that a is that a checkpoint? No checkpoint. I still gotta go through this part again. This is annoying. Nice. Okay, so we stay down here. Sweet. Cool. Nice. Pick up the blue. Stay right up here. Cool. Alright, we're almost there. Just don't screw up like we did last time. What? Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, alright, don't screw up like I did last time. I was trying to go for that yellow. And then the ceiling comes down and just gets you. Alright, player one ready. Stupid. Stupid. So stupid. Here we go. Player one ready. The thing is, this level isn't supposed to be hard at all. It's the next two stages that come up that are, like, really hard. Get my yellow. 
<laughs> this is funny. So funny. Three hours later, I'm stuck on the same stage. Okay. Holding down my rapid fire. Knock this guy out. Cool. Take that out. Take that guy out. <laughs> it's like, what? The tentacle things are supposed to collect the bullets. up here take my yellow yep cool sweet oh snap tentative two coming out with the freaking five bits thank you for the bits buddy you get to see Sagata Sanchiro kick a baseball with his foot and he hits a home run that's 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 your bit reward. Thank you for the bits. Five hours. You said five hours. Yes, sir. Yep. Just saw that. nice. Yeah, I, always, I like to announce the uh, the gif the gif alerts. Rarely see the uh, the bit one come out, but yeah, thank you, thank you for those bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll keep going. We'll get through this. Oh, nice, yeah. Let's get that yellow. Sweet. This part right here is annoying. I'm getting ahead of this guy so I can get away from his his yellow fruit loops. Uh this part right here. This part almost killed me before. Nice. Okay, come back down. <sighs> Go figure, I made it past that one part. And I got I got some <laughs> I got some I got some frickin' <laughs> wall there to like hug across. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get past this level. <clears throat> this is it, the game. This is where you realize the game stops messing around. Yeah, try to duck down, and hide from the guy coming behind me. <sighs> okay, I could do this. Sweet. Go that way. Sweet. Don't get killed. Stay that way. Don't get killed. Cool. Stay down. Stay up. Nice. Sweet. Made it through. Finally. All right, what happened here? Boss fight? All right, wish me luck, guys. Boss fight.
best part right here. Ah, you gotta be kidding me right there. <laughs> where's this? Where's the leap? Okay, it drops me off right at the boss. So, I, none of those tentacle shots, just a straight shot bullet. Okay. Alright, we could get past this boss. Let's, we'll, we'll try. Alright. Ah, that's so hard. Uh, I think I just made the game impossible by going, getting killed before the boss without my power-ups. Okay, so let's try... Should I just point-blank him? Okay, it looks like the heart right in the center is the is the glory hole that I gotta shoot into. So try to we'll go try to aim for that. Can I even Yep, I gotta aim right in there, but like in order for that to go away, his head has to come out. So this is a, this is a tricky one. Oh, I could shoot those things down. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, so you, I can shoot those turrets down. I didn't realize you could do that. All right, so I'll try that. I'll, I'll keep trying. I'll get there. Um, okay, but... Uh, you can do it. You can do it, Billy. Billy Madison, you can do it. You can do it, Nikki. Okay, let's do it. Let's see here. Shoot... Point blank range. Cool. <sighs> Too close. All right, I'll keep going. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Too too close. We'll try. Player one ready. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay. I got to focus here. Here we go. Why did I go up? I should have stayed down. <laughs> Alright. So, it's like you could blow up his head. Is that even the goal? To blow up his head. Stay up here. Nice, got him. Sweet, we did it. We did it. It's over. We beat stage four. 
We got three more to go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, this level. Not this freaking level. Alright, here we go. Things are, like, exploding all over the place here. It's like you don't know if, like... What... Should, should that, like... Should that thing, like, explode or something, or... Ah, uh, okay. Halfway point anywhere in here, or is it still at the beginning? Yeah, beginning. <laughs> All right, bring it down here. those money bags. Ah, oh, I died. You know what? No, those aren't money bags. I think those make me speed up. Yeah, those make me speed up. Go faster. My ship just went faster after I picked it up. here I think I should just pick up the one speed and like the one speed up power up and just leave the rest alone That's a rough one. Yeah, not collecting that second power up, that's for sure. Okay, so that's what that does. All right, this looks like a halfway point, but I'm not gonna, not gonna jinx it. Nice. There's my power up. There's my power up. Nice, my red. Ah, crap. <laughs> Go figure. I get to that. That that better be a halfway point. It is good. I figure as I get to the halfway point. And yeah, water. It splats out the water. That's like what? You have to stay to the ceiling. That's. But you can't stay at the ceiling because you got the what? You got the the drip drops. <laughs> that blows. Player one ready. Speed up! Oh, here's the boss. All right. Died. 
Okay. I, 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 it leaves us off at the boss, but gives us a power-up. That's a good thing. Yep. And a speed-up. Let's see. Now dodging this, yeah, dodging this guy is a pain. Game over. All right, so this level isn't so bad, but I think the last two stages are get really annoying. Or the last stage is really annoying. I, I yeah, I, re I remember correctly. The next stage is really annoying, and then the last stage is just ridiculous, ridiculously annoying. Up in the yeah, speed. What? Oh, come on. I picked up that speed up power up. I shouldn't have done that. Player one ready. Pick up the speed. Gotta dodge his power up attack here. There's no way to, you know, maybe if I duck underneath his chin, I I should be okay. I'm gonna try that. Pick up the speed up icon. All right, we'll stay right here. Nope, he comes right down and does his little thing like that. He kisses you with his chin. Alright, back away. I'm gonna stay around here. Yeah, maybe if I just go back and forth. Actually, I could probably hide in the top left corner. Maybe I could. Maybe I should try doing that. H hide in the top left corner. Yeah. All right, there you go. Speed up. Oh no, then he just does that with your, his neck. <laughs> it's like you can't win when you're fighting this dude. Alright. Player one ready. Alright. What? Dude, I don't know how that happened. I beat him. <laughs> I beat him. Stage five, I beat him. <laughs> I just stayed there. I guess I, I got a good shot at him and I got him. Okay, so this level is pretty tough. Stage six. I remember this level being pretty tough. When I, last time I played it. You got like bullets and you gotta like Yeah, I died. And now this this becomes hard. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, Cindy. Appreciate it. Yeah, so this is stage six. There's seven stages in the game. The seventh stage is the hardest. If I remember correctly, when I when I last played this game, I couldn't get past the seventh stage and I I gave up. And I found out that there's actually cheat codes in this game. And I'll never use a cheat code in this game. Because that's cheating. Cheating is wrong. Cheating is wrong. And you know what's wrong? Putting up a, a YouTube video of Willy Wombat. Of a speedrun. And saying that you, you legitimately beat the game. And then you admit you put in a cheat code. 
And you obviously put a cheat code in. And then you still called it a speed run. That's wrong. Somebody did that with Willy Wombat. <laughs> oh, there's my there's my thing, my jig. Okay, try not to get killed here. I died. I think this is a halfway point coming up. Nope. Nope. Uh, key is surviving up to the part where you get the... There was a power up right there. I saw it. <laughs> That's annoying. Always curious to use cheat codes if the game's too hard. Yeah, I actually image fight. There's cheat codes as well. Um, because I actually last time I played Im actually the first time I played image fight. Uh, when I first got this compilation pack, um, I got up to the last level in the game. And, like, before you get up to the last level, the game, like, checks your game rank. If you get, oh, if you're, uh, below a 90%, you have to go through this very impossible stage that's so impossible. Um, because I guess because the game came out in the arcades, the idea was to, like, have the, have the player keep pouring in their, their quarters you know, gives gives the arcade owner more business. Um, so it was a quarter muncher this stage. Um, I couldn't beat it, so I put in a cheat code. And you know, I gotta say, like it, it's so impossible. Like I don't think a human could finish it without cheating or like using a tool assisted like speed run. Um, <laughs> it, is this ridiculous like if you get up to that part an image if you ever play image fight you get up to that part and you're it grades you and you get below 90 percent just reset the game try it again like it's not worth to attempt to finish that impossible stage um so and then it's a shame because i really wanted to see the ending to image fight just uh, one night, I'll I'll have to play it like, and I'll 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 just have to play that, like. It's it's a, it's a good game. It's just freaking hard. Like it's it's it says it is as hard as this game is. Let's put it that way. The deaths just keep going, and you get infinite continues. But it's like, uh, if this was the arcades, I'd be screwed. Be out of quarters. Seems tough to wait. Yep. No. No, no, it's truth. Just do the old quarter on a string trick. <laughs> I remember that trick. Two forty one, so I got oh crap, it's two forty one already. <laughs> Time flies. Well we're actually making progress. Progress. We're making lots of progress here. Um I didn't think I was gonna finish the other stage, but I did. <laughs> All right, we got 18 minutes to go. If I if I didn't if I don't get past the next stage in 20 minutes, 
I'm going to have to call the, the run. But if we do make it past the stage, get to see the impossible stage 7. Just gotta avoid the bullets. Yay, got my gun here. Alright, so I just gotta be very careful on this part. What? I died there? That sucks. What makes the, the power up so good? Um, you could. The, the tentacles. I'm already in bed watching on my phone. Oh man. Yeah, this is a uh, this is something that that could put you to sleep after uh, all the repetitiveness. The only thing that's probably going to keep you up is is me making uh it's me talking into the mic directly to make it make the volume spike like it did earlier in the stream. <laughs> I think I lost like five viewers doing that. Uh, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Uh, I got a microphone. Do we have some more? I got the. I got a microphone right here to to stream. I just have to like figure out how to like use this. I don't know, Varga. If you have like time tomorrow, maybe we could like we could get on a call. We could like configure this this microphone uh would like to start using it on the streams again no smr yeah we could do that yeah yeah it's just a it's a cheap 80 dollar usb mic i got from amazon with some gift cards um the only reason why I got it is because it has the has the the sound dampener on it, because my P's and my B's are pretty loud, and um, I think that would come in handy, and it would it would avoid those uh, audio spikes that we uh, that Maestro guy experienced and uh, almost gave him a heart attack earlier in the stream. Oh yeah, not sure how long my eyes can stay open. Yeah, so we got another 15 minutes. That's the challenge. If I finish this level within 15 minutes, I'll move on. If not, I'll uh, gladly uh, end the stream, come to the closing. Just watch through your eyelids. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be like... Um, you gotta be like the guy from Clockwork Orange where they put the... Uh, they put the metal, like, the metal pins in his eyes to keep him open. Sweet. Dead. Okay, that's a halfway point right there, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I gotta focus here. I I I I, I kind of want to finish this stage just to see if I could do it. Yeah. Those tentacle guns remind me of Octo Dad. Yeah, those tentacle guns is what. Is is gonna get me get me through this level? Okay, come over here. Get the yeah, get the tentacles. The moment, the moment I went forward, I knew I was gonna collide with that bullet. I should have stayed left. Those guys should have played that on the old show. Oh yeah. 
<sighs> yeah, getting tired. I'm running out of juice. Yeah, so I was saying earlier in the stream, um, next week, this upcoming uh, week, this Monday, I'm going to do another uh, like mini marathon type of stream, but it's set to the uh, the Rockman series. I'm going to play uh, Rockman The Complete Works, Volumes 1 through 6 for PlayStation. Uh, Varga, you, you might be familiar with that set. I picked those up at Anime NYC back in November last year. I still haven't played it yet, so I think those, this will be a perfect time to play it. So that's Rockman 1 through 6 for the Famicom ported to the PlayStation. And then we'll play Rockman 7 for the Super Famicom on the, uh, the analog Super NT. Then we'll play Rockman 8 for Sega Saturn. And then 9, 10, and 11 will be played on the Switch. So look forward to that. So this Monday we'll start off with Rockman. We'll do two Rockman games a day, up until six, and then when you get to Rockman, we get to Rockman seven. We'll just do one Rockman game a day. So seven and eight will be like their own days. Nine and ten, I think we, I think we could hit nine and ten the same day. And eleven, eleven will be like a total blind playthrough because I've never played Mega Man seven. I recently picked up the Switch version, physical, so this will be a good way uh, to play Mega Man 11 it's off the uh, the Rockman mini marathon. So, uh, so that'll happen. I'll start on Monday. So tomorrow on on Twitter, I'll post my schedule. And I'll announce, do a little a more formal announcement. But that's what's going to happen next week on this channel. We're going to play all 11 Mega Man games. Should be fun. Alright, so we got 11 minutes to go. I think that's another two credits. I still can't get to the stupid halfway point on this stage. It sucks. XCX, kind of hard to find. It's probably discontinued. Should have gotten that anniversary collection for Switch. I actually do have the anniversary collection for Switch. I have the second one. Which includes um, 9, 10. 9 and 10. Now, you're probably wondering, Varga's probably saying, gee, King, why don't you just play the collection for Switch? Well, my answer is no. <laughs> and my answer is I bought 1 through 6 at Anime NYC last year. I want to play those. So I want to. It, it, it's the it's for nostalgia reasons. That's why. It kinda. I have a I have a fancy way of doing this uh, this marathon. So, I, want, I would like to stick to it. I mean, I could play the original Rockman for Famicom. Cause I got it. I got it signed by Ken J, uh, K KG and Afune at Magfest, and I also got my Rockman Complete Works Volume Three signed by Harmony Fujita at Magfest this past year. So, some good shit. This is this is annoying. I just want to beat this freaking level. Spawn these yellow guys, come down, bring that guy down. Spawn these guys, don't get shot by the bullets. Go Rambo style. Nope, I know I was gonna get killed by the stupid yellow bee. All right, we got, we're down to the last nine minutes. Nine minutes. Stay there. Take these orange guys out. Take those orange guys. Alright, good. We gotta take care of the orange guys, always. Ah, go figure, I got the stupid blue thing and I got 
fucking killed. Excuse my French. Hope there's no kids in the room. I mean, there shouldn't be because it's very late at night right now. Game over. All right, we're on the last eight minutes. Last eight minutes. Can't seem to get past this level. Might have to come. I might have to revisit this game, and I wouldn't mind revisiting it because I still have to do image fight off this pack. I still have to also revisit. The Shinobi game for the Saturn, because I got stuck on that final boss. Should practice before I, I go live with that. Next revisit, though. Okay, so I'll come this way. If you're going to play all the Mega Man games, why well, you're going to play the DOS version? Well, no, because the DOS, for they never released it as Rockman. Whole whole idea is I'm gonna call it the Rock Manathon, because I can't call it the Mega Manathon because Half Empty Tank took that name, so we're gonna call it the Rock Manathon. Well, then again, I called I call this I call these streams the Sega Saturn Day streams. That name has actually been taken before on the uh, the Sega Saturn. Uh, Shiro Facebook group they call it Saturn Day I mean Catter Day has also been taken everybody calls it Catter Day on Saturday they take pictures of their pets their, their pet cats I right, go this way nice stay down Take it easy. <laughs> so annoying. Last five minutes. We've got the five minute warning. Yeah, how much wanna bet within these five minutes I'm gonna win? Alright, come out here, spawn these guys. Spawn those guys, spawn these guys. Spawn those two guys, go this way. Spawn that guy. Come that way. Stay that way. <sighs> Keep dying in the same area, I know. I should really go down, t I should really take that bottom path when I get up there. Ah, stupid. Alright, this is the last credit. Four, ignore the four minute warning. This is the last credit. And I'm going to call it. Last credit. We're going to finish this out. Four, four lives. Last credit. Here we go. And just with my luck, when I say it's my last credit, I'm probably going to get it. Just like, what, just like what I did with uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts a couple weeks ago. All right. Yep. Have a good night, tentative two. We're on our last credit. We'll finish this up. Uh, probably gonna re gonna have to revisit it for sure.
But uh, yeah, have a great night. Uh, thank, f thank you for coming out to the stream, showing your support. And, uh, there'll be more Saturn action to come on this channel. You know where to find me. So have a good night. Yeah, we got two more lives. We're definitely not going to finish this one. That's for sure. Okay, come over here. <laughs> Those stupid things came out. Alright, I think we're on our last life. And I think there's a zero continue. A zero life that counts. Alright, let's come out this way. Dead. Alright, this is the last life. Last life. One one to go. Here we go. Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Well we'll let the we'll let the timer run out on the continue screen. Get the official game over message. Boom, zero. <laughs> We're out. Yep. All right. Well, so let's see here. Yep, this is a good place to stop. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, we went through all the entire stack of Saturn games that I said I was going to play, and we did. Uh, we got we had some success, some failures, mostly failures, but uh, definitely would like to return to. Arcade Gears, Image Fight, and X Multiply. Uh, look for a future stream where I will play both these games, revisit them, and try to finish them. Uh, so, I do is do uh, stream four days a week. Uh, usually Monday, thir Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a Saturday schedule. Every Saturday I do these uh, mini marathon streams, variety streams called Sega Saturn Days. Where I play a bunch of Sega Saturn imports on stream, just like you saw today. The today's theme was horizontal shmups. Uh, one other theme I did was like vertical shmups. So like, do do little things like that. Pick like five random games. We'll play them in a variety stream. Uh, so, yep. Uh, do these every week. Uh, so next week will probably be a little different. I announced it on. Uh, couple minutes ago i'm gonna start up the rockman marathon where i'm gonna play rockman's one through six for the playstation one uh famicom versions ported to playstation one i'm gonna do rockman seven on the super famicom rockman eight will be done on the saturn nine ten eleven will be done on the switch so i'll start that up on monday two rockman games a day so monday would be one and two tuesday will be three and four wednesday will be five and six thursday will be seven friday will be eight saturday will be nine ten and eleven so there probably there will probably be not be a rock there probably won't be a sega saturn day stream next saturday but i might have it another day because it we do have labor day weekend so we'll have a three-day weekend so i'll post the schedule tomorrow on my twitter uh, i'll post the link here I post all my social links right here yep so I put my stream schedule on there also I have a link to my discord uh, where it's just me Varga and Cindy and maestro guy come get come 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 out keep us company you know we like to welcome new chatters on the discord so I thank you all for coming to my stream appreciate the support so I'll read off the mini feed and see read off the chat. So 10 out of 2, thank you for the 5 bits. Varga, thank you for the host. One viewer, appreciate the support. Ammo Diary, thank you for the party rate of 6. Succubus so Cindy, thank you for the 3 gifted subs to Nostalgic Dan, Mudu Sama, and Bovine Divine. VGF69, thank you for the follow, appreciate the support. Never Shuts Up, thank you for the follow. Mudu Sama, thank you for the raid of 
five early on. Um, let's see, that's it. Who came in? Nostalgic Van, thank you for coming out. Varga Westburn, thank you for coming out. Ten out of two, thank you for coming out. Have a good sleep, buddy. Uh, let's see. I know Sega Sega Tastic came in. Thank you for the support, buddy. Uh, anybody else? Matt, that Maestro guy. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate, appreciate the support, buddy. Um, I don't think the chat goes that far up. Sucky Vicinity. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate the support. I think that's it. Oh, ten of them two. Thank you for the. Thank you for the five other bits. Appreciate the support, buddy. All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you all coming out. So let's see who's online. We can go raid. I know who we're gonna go raid. Let's uh, let's just see if he's online really fast. Is he is he online? Yes, he is. All right, we're gonna go raid my friend Varga Wasperin. Now I'm done. <laughs> nice. We're gonna raid my friend Varga Wasperin. Uh. Because he's been stream sniping me the entire night. Let's see, what is he playing? He's playing GameCube Japanese preview disc. Pe oh, okay. I actually want to see this. So we'll go say hi to him. Let's go show him some love. He's my mod. He's my moderator on the stream. And he, he popped in. He, he, he gave his two cents on some of the games we were playing tonight. So we'll go, so, we'll go share him some love. And uh, for those of you who are have been gift subbed, I'll give you a raid message if you're a sub. This is the raid message if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, this is the raid message. I'm not a sub, but the, but this is the this is the raid message. <laughs> so the first one will be the raid message if you're a sub. If you're not a sub. It'll be the second raid message. So we'll go say hi to Varga. We'll go give him some love and support. Wish him the best of luck going through that Panasonic Cube demo disc. And uh, so, yep, check out the Twitter tomorrow. Post my stream schedule. I'll be back on for the Rock Band Marathon starting this Monday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, peace out, guys. Have a good one. Later.